I'm telling you, bro. Is it a V8? Is it? I don't know. Because I don't know engines like that. You Copy know? that. Copy I don't that. know cars like that because I ain't got one. That's, that's true. You that's know? true. I ain't, had a, I ain't had a car since 2007, 2018. Tell the truth. I'm telling the truth right now. I'm telling my truth. Do you last, want one? Last car I had was a 99 Jeep Wrangler. Uh, well, well, talk about it. What color? It was a. Uh, it was like a. Uh, like a uh, dark blue, purple type shit. Uh, kind of uh, like the, um, the yeah. Like it's like it's a metallic kind of color. Yeah, like metallic kind of color. It was a '99. Yeah, that shit was dope. It was yeah. it was off the chain. This one you had a car. This one I had a car. I ain't had one about two years. Two years. Do you what? miss it? Do I miss having a car? Hell yeah. Especially Cause that, now. Cause, cause, yeah, because no I, I went to I went to uh, I go to sometimes I go to my homie's house in Riverside. Fuck. And yeah, I caught an Uber yesterday. Homie was just like. Showing me, he showed me some song that Little John made about tacos that I didn't know the existed. Uber driver did. Yeah, I was you know, like, you can, but you can select if you want him to talk or music or whatever. You, you can. can? That. Oh yeah. But most of the time they don't talk to me. I I prefer that. Yeah. But you in someone else's car, it'd be weird if I just keep looking. It's like at I've never heard the name Chappelle before. <laughs> That's what he said. Yeah. Was he? Uh, Indian? Nothing's worse than where are you from? Yeah. <laughs> I hate this. I got my dude. I got my AirPods. I don't, don't want to do a fucking podcast. I got my so AirPods. Yeah. yeah, I know. Yeah. I, even with my AirPods in, they still they don't care. To talk. They don't I'm care. Like, Pretend you're on the phone. But like, oh, what'd you say? And he's like, "Wait, sorry, man." And then <laughs> I, just, I did that. I did that with the AirPods in. I'm like, I'm on the phone. I had the phone to my ear with the AirPods in he my ear. He powered through it. He, yeah, he was like, "Bro, I got two. I got two conversations going." Yeah, he's you know still, how long the ride was to Riverside? An hour. It was with no traffic. Yeah, it, it, it was barely any traffic. Yeah, what friend is this? You're taking an Uber to oh, it's see my an best hour. friend. Oh, it's your bestie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, but I, I mean, I would like to... Usually, I catch the train. There's a train that goes out there, but I mean, I didn't... Uh, I think I had missed... Uh, yeah, I had missed... Does your girl have a car? Yes, she does. Yeah. Hey! Oh, my guy! Oh, there he is. There he is. What's up? Hey, man. No. Hey, man. Oh, come on, Trip. What's up, yeah, brother? Long time to see you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, didn't see you man. What's up, bro? That's Malik. That's Chappelle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How you doing, brother? I'm good. I'm gonna take a little go cooking. We can go. But um, what was I saying? Yeah, it's an hour. Damn. Stretch. Um, but yeah, that's the homie, man. What'd you guys do? Uh, watch Project Runway. That's our shit. <laughs> um, for an hour, he, you would have. Copy. I got a couple of questions, but I'm gonna let gay. you finish. Oh, he's gay. Yeah, oh, yeah. okay, it makes sense. Makes sense. Okay. Oh, is, is it Tommy? Yeah. Oh, my bad. I, I didn't know. Yeah. I didn't know. Okay. Yeah, you got a, you got a spectrum full of friends. I do. You got man. like these bad old cheerleader mm. ladies. Mm -hmm. Then you got these <laughs> them gay boys. Yeah. <laughs> and then you got your comic friends. Yeah. 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 I, yeah, I do have. A, and I got the crust punks, the crusty punks. I kick it with crusty yeah. punks. Yeah. Man. You got range, dog. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't have that. Cherish yeah. it. I was telling Do about you have the, range? Yeah. I hung out with some white people the other day. There you go. He got range. I got range. Just white people? Yeah, why not? <laughs> was it that one picture? <laughs> you the, saw the one, one picture. The dude looked like he was the uh, member yeah. of Bad Boys. <laughs> <laughs> what oh, you yeah. call him? You call him Lip funny. Biscuit? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you. Steve O. What's yeah, up, dude, What's up brother? On. Thanks for doing this, man. <laughs> Hell yeah. You look great, brother. Uh, thanks, bro. I appreciate it, man. You too. You still uh, staying away from the animal meat? Is that what's uh -huh. going on? Yeah. I've been eating fish. Oh, you started out with fish? Yeah. You, I've weren't, been, you weren't doing fish for a while, right? Bro, I was vegan for uh, for a long time. and uh, I don't know. I think uh, getting cats had something to do with it. How so? <laughs> well, you got to fucking feed your, your cats some kind of meat. Like the yeah. wet food? Yeah, plus my dogs. I feel like an asshole of feeding my dogs vegan shit. Yeah, they're <laughs> like, why are we doing this, man? <laughs> right. like, we didn't sign up for this. Right, so then it's like, all right, well, if I'm buying fucking fish for the dogs and the cats, like, fuck it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, plus I just think it's good for me, so. And you feel good on it? Yeah, dude, I think it's good for me. It's better than all that fucking super processed fucking fake shit yeah, that, that uh you know like yeah, the, yeah it was the impossible that, stuff that shit's uh delicious but it's just it's not cancer I mean, I that's it's good terrible <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the beyond burgers it, are cancer? it is not healthy <laughs> not think really it's good, yeah. is no. it so good i know they're, they're delicious well, thank this, you anything that tastes that good isn't good for you they're they're, they're fucking delicious but Read the ingredients. You'll be horrified. Really? There's, there's so much <laughs> stuff that goes into them. Yeah, what, what's you're, you're, what's you're one of the caramel burger? Well, like, oh, I, I can't even remember because it's just you can't even pronounce to begin it's with. It's not you good. Know? Anything can uh, pronounce, like it's not hydro good. Hydrosodium, like chlorine. Sulfur. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know what? I don't even know what it is, but it sounded like pork. 
Yeah. yeah. You don't okay. want to touch it. Okay. You don't want to touch it. Now I, I don't even eat red meat. I don't eat red oh, meat. And by also. the way, did we start already? Because this is great. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. We lied. I mean, you yeah. didn't rely. You didn't took your, you got your we feet out. Yeah. 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 He was the guy, man. He was like, yo, we rolling. I got my, like, my toes and shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's like, we up, <laughs> How uh, have you been in uh, quarantine, man? How you been oh, up? Yeah, I've been thriving, brother. How so? I, I mean, dude, like. Okay, there's there's shit that sucks about it, and 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 there's shit that rules. Like what sucks is, we had started filming Jackass four, right? Like a fourth movie, which I agree makes no fucking sense. Like, like I'm all for it. I'm with it. I'm with it. I mean, actually, like we we got one week into filming Jackass four, and uh, that's when the shutdown happened. Damn. Which is. A pisser, it's also a blessing because there are obvious question marks around whether a bunch of fucking 40 and in some cases 50, you know. John, is, John, is Knoxville 50? Uh, will be soon. I think he's 49. Yeah, he's up Damn. there. A couple of the other guys have crossed 50. <laughs> 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 and, you know, I'm so for it. I know. I'm all about I'm it. All about it. <laughs> I'm all yeah. about right. it. Knoxville believes firmly that the older you get, the funnier it is. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. I don't 100%. know. 100%. I think at a certain point it just gets kind of uh, tough to watch, but but hey man, I I don't mind a bit. And and the one week that we were able to film, uh, like the chemistry was there, the fucking footage, everything's worked out fantastically. So we were able to put together enough footage in that one week for the question marks to be answered. You Where know, can for, we still do it? Yeah, is, can we is still the chemistry do it? Still there? Is it going to be is fun? It, does yeah. it still work? Get is the it hard band to watch? back together? Is it just creepy? You know? yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just this creepy <laughs> right. and then it's, everyone's not doing the stuff. And they're like, no, nah, I'm not. Gonna do <laughs> right, but whose uh, idea was it to get back together? I, I'm sure Knoxville. Everybody else has just been clamoring for it. My position was like, hey man, I never stopped doing that shit anyway. So yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. like, whether movie or no movie, I'm I'm active. You know, like that's I'm what cool I was gonna say. Out of, out of the group of guys, you're the one guy who just kind of, I mean, you're just doing the damn. I just the other guy's kind of. Yeah. Maybe because I don't follow it as close because you and I are yeah. boys, but I see what you're doing. You're kind of the one guy who's just kind of doing it. I, I've you know stayed active, like you're, yeah. You're super active. I've, I've stayed active, so I was cool either way. Um, but yeah, it was, what we did in the one week, it went very well. Paramount Pictures, uh, as I understand it, is just thrilled with, uh, with the whole idea of it now. So we became a bigger priority on their radar for when the world does begin to spin again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It definitely well, stopped. Yeah. It definitely stopped. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, no shit. Now, do, uh, do I'm, I'm assuming they go, and if this is too much, tell me, steve -O. Do they go through your agent to figure out payment wise? You know what I'm saying? Because like now the terms are a little different. Like you were a big star. Uh, yeah, you, 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 you know what I'm saying? You're totally fine to ask and thanks for for flagging. You know the yeah the, the sensitivity. Um, I, dude, it's so funny, man. I, in all the years leading up to it, I never even fucking countered an offer. I just found out what I was going to get, and I was like, cool. <laughs> 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 they paid me to do this shit. <laughs> you never saw it, but I found out. Do that. <laughs> right. So like, like on the other movies, because the reason I bring it up is because I was telling somebody, at some random fan at Starbucks, he's like, oh, who do you have on today? And I was like, oh, Steve-O. And he goes, oh, he got, f did you hear him? He got fucked on the other movies. And I was like, no, man. <laughs> no, I, I didn't I mean, know that. It was, uh, did we started out like a bit bad. You know, what, what he was talking about was the first season of the TV show Jackass. Oh, gotcha. Uh, and uh, for that, I mean, dude, that's entry level. You got to pay who your Who knew dues. how well it would go? Right, 100%. We, we'd, we'd gone from making skateboard videos to now we're on MTV. Like, we didn't get paid for the skateboard videos, and you know. So they were like, okay, for this first season, we're going to pay you like per bit, you know, each thing that you shoot. And if the thing that you're shooting is uh really dangerous and you could get like you know hurt then we're gonna pay you 500 bucks for that bit if it's just like a funny prank or some kind of a gag you know then uh 200 bucks sounds, <laughs> sounds complicated Wait, Tomo, what you? it's like or just give us a flat fee man you would think that per episode would be the the ticket but it was all just like such a just a hodgepodge yeah. of, yeah, of bits sounds complicated is it because they didn't know like how, how big it would get I, yeah they didn't know what the fuck they were doing so um they didn't know how many guys were going to be a part of it 
You know, like there were like a, a bunch of different characters in the skateboard videos that sort of turned into Jackass. They weren't even clear on who was going to be uh, the cast. You know, they just sort of had. So I think that's what what motivated that. But at the end of the day, uh, after taxes, I made less than fifteen hundred bucks for the first what? season. No residuals, no nothing. Went out, you know, and then did like, the other guys make way more? Like, did John? Uh, I know, Johnny man. was kind of the captain of the ship, yeah, right? For so. sure. Yeah, he got like you know, he's a smart dude. All the 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 producer shit the residual shit the ownership of the, like, the creator shit you know yeah, like johnny's a smart guy yeah and he's uh he's a suge knight yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah he's like okay, a real he's like, so you you know a that? real reckless shit <laughs> <guy. Yeah. laughs> <That's so funny. laughs> it's good more of a don king <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Steve! Come on, Steve! Come on, Steve! <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, uh, yeah. I mean, it was whatever. Like from the projects after that, um, it, it, it got better. It got better, you know. But now this time around. And like I said, I mean, I had agents in the past, but the agents were like, "Oh, okay, this is what you're gonna get," and I was like, oh, "Okay, cool." Yeah. This time around. It's like, oh, okay, well, guys, I need to speak up for myself at this point because for the last 10, it's been 10 fucking years yeah. since the last movie. And so over the last 10 years, like, I've stayed active, you You're know, the most relevant and like, one. yeah, without like being a dick, you know, like, I'm the only guy that fucking has, has been active, you know, like, I've been, been building momentum, I've been doing my thing. I think that it's safe to say that at this point, I bring more to the table than, than the rest of the guys. That's where I was know? going with it without being offensive, yeah. Yeah, and, and uh, I don't think that that's uh, a dickheaded thing to say. It was like, it was an observation. And, and, the, and what's more important for me is that <clears throat> I, I, I didn't want to, like, get in there and be the one, like, fighting for it. I was like, hey, you know what, like, the last time around, I had my lawyer telling me, yo, we've got a counter. And I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> the lawyer's like, why do you have me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. And, uh, you know, because the, the, that last time around, I was newly sober. Like, I didn't mm. know if I had it in me. Yeah. You know, I was just like. This uh, was for the movie? But for so wait, when you, you were sober when you did the slingshot? Yeah. Uh -huh. In the porter potty, the porter potty slingshot. I was completely sober. Yeah. So let me ask you a question: Do you ever like do a stunt, and you, when you're about to do it, you be like, "Nah, I was just bullshitting." Ah, uh, nah. <laughs> <laughs> just like, fake them out. Like, man, it's called it's called jackass, it's, not dumbass. It's, especially now, that, <laughs> especially now that you're sober. You know, right. I feel like yeah. 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 I mean, like in, in hindsight, I, I I really went on to regret mm -hmm. uh, not letting my lawyer like fight, you know. Yeah. And so this time, I just said, "Hey guys, I think I bring more to the table this time around, and this time I'm gonna stay out of my own way, and I'm gonna do what my lawyer let them do. The know, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let my guy do what yep. he does, yep. you know. And uh, so I extricated myself from the the you know the situation. And my, my lawyer did say this is fucking bullshit, you know. And and we and and then we uh, kind of got into the 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 standoff, sort of so to speak, yeah. you know. And um, God, it was just really f something else, man. I'd never really gone down that path, mm -hmm. you know, of where I'd, to find like how contentious, you know, how like it's heartbreaking. Sort of, you know, Isn't it heartbreaking? like it's like wow, like. I know. You know, it's like wow, man! Like, w like when you're fighting over money, like, because we're not negotiating with uh, the parent with the movie studio. You know, already the production company they gave you a budget. The pr the production company, which is Knoxville and Spike Jones and Jeff Tremaine, like they've uh, they've got their deal with the with the studio, yeah, with Paramount, Paramount Pictures, and so now there it's up to them to delegate to, to, to deal with us. Yeah. So anything that we get comes out of their shit. And so that's what I came to learn. It's like, wow, they're really fucking pretty. They're pretty serious about digging in their heels and, and uh, getting real fucking heavy over this. And um, The good thing know, is you know they can't do it without... Like, if right, someone I went, mean, hey, there's a new jackass, but there's no Steve, I'm like, I'm not going. It, it, got, to, it got to a point where, where my lawyer even was like, wow, you know, like, we got like, you know, we got a little better. And, you know, at this point, I just can't tell, I can't advise you to pass on this, yeah. you know? Uh -oh. and, uh, and so I was like, hey, guys, it's all I needed was my guy to say the word, go. And so, you know, I don't think that I got anything really, like, uh, uh, substantial in the way of, like, 
Uh, I think it's a respect thing. Yeah, I think it's almost yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? And, and and whatever. It was overall. It was a wildly uncomfortable process. You yeah, know, like it. and and it it is kind of heartbreaking when it's like when you're when you're bros but you know i just come to learn that's the nature of the world fuck it you know Especially and as soon, show business right yeah as soon as the deal was done and we showed up for that that one week of filming the fucking all forgotten the, the, we're laughing our asses off the chemistry's there the footage is great do you guys still and, see uh, each other outside of this like do you communicate sure through? man is the band still we, yeah for sure we, we've always been we've always been cool we don't like hang out all the time no. you know and it's kind of like if something's really funny like oh man like well i'll send this over or that you know but uh you know it's uh we're, we're bros we're all we're all a family and there's there's no hard feelings about anything and like and honestly because i uh have been so active like i stand to benefit so much more from the the film than anybody else Agreed. because you're on I've, the road your podcast right i've yeah. got i've got established revenue streams that are going to be fucking supercharged by this so like this is if i viewed the movie as just an engine that's going to drive my other revenue and more streams. content sure you're getting your content from it yeah stage, so everything so it really was kind of a matter of principle it was a matter of respect my my guy said go for it it's great plus they got me a, a producer credit which is kind of yeah. cool oh, shit. second billing it's oh, knoxville and steve-o oh, cool man so i mean there, there's a lot that's pretty fucking cool who about comes it. up with the ideas uh, we do because you guys have come up with so much shit right you know what i'm saying like sure. at some point it's like what else are we gonna do dude I know, dude. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, before somebody dies, you know what I'm saying? It's like, right. I I know, dude. 100. percent And, and it, uh, it, is there any when when you when they pitch you guys on ideas? Because I'm sure there's a group. Are you, is there ever a time where you're like, dude, no, 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 I'm dude, not wrestling a great white. Big time. Hey, fam. It's been reported that Americans are overpaying on car insurance by over 21 billion dollars, dollars, dollars. But searching for a better deal can take hours. Typical results in a barrage of unwanted spam calls nobody wants that until now thanks to thezebra.com thezebra.com is the nation's leading car insurance comparison site because it's the only place you can compare quotes side by side from over 100 providers and choose the best for you in 90 seconds or less try it out plus they will never sell your information to spammers uh, all you got to do is answer a few quick questions. It's simple. It's fast to find you the best rates. Boom. You're off and running. Best part is it's completely free. You can save up to $670 a year by using thezebra.com. How much can you save on car and home insurance? Go today and start saving at thezebra.com slash fighter. That's thezebra.com slash fighter spelled T H E Z E B R A.com slash fighter. We are brought to you by the one, the only, onit.com slash fighter, 10% off the entire goddamn site. What do you need, man? I keep preaching to you guys. They get the best supplements on the planet. We got vitamins. We got protein powder. We got keto stuff. We got coffee. Fuck yeah, coffee. Black Rifle, on it. They collabed. It's my favorite uh, coffee on the planet. They got caffeinated crystals in it. It's a dark roast. It's hands down my favorite coffee on the goddamn planet. Get 10% off right now. Go to onit.com slash fighter. You need fitness gear, kettlebells, steel uh, maces. We got sandbags. We got freaking yoga mats. We got men's, women's gear. We got it all. We got geese. Go to onit.com slash fighter. 10% off. You're welcome. Are you, is there ever a time where you're like, dude, no. No, no I'm dude, not wrestling a great white. Big time. Big fucking time. <laughs> 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 well, I need to hear it. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, dude, I got to be careful because I can't give away like specifically uh, what, yeah, what happened. But, but with that said, in a general sense, like on the third movie, I was like, okay, guys, look, I fucking survived enough shit in my life. Now I'm fucking living clean and healthy and fucking, you know, and like, I'm really not okay with fucking getting in a goddamn wheelchair and fucking dead at this point. It would be really fucking dumb for me to have survived all of this. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I was, like, I was like, I was serious about it. I was like, I'm not fucking risking paralysis or death, okay? Paralysis and death is not on the fucking table, but if that's not a concern, then I'm in for everything. <laughs> Dude, I, I opened for you in, in Tempe when you 
had the bandages. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah you, dude, you, that uh, was and, rough. And I think someone came to the green room. Yeah, and had to exchange them out for you. Uh huh. I was uh, that was when I was on my burn unit tour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wait, you was wait, you was you burning? Yeah, had bandages. Yeah. All I, over. I, I, getting burned? I had third degree burns on 15% of my, my body. I had skin grafts on 15% of my body. And uh, this was. Um, Steve will be working for those two. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, that's wait. A, that was that's just. The that's the closer for my new comedy special, which is, uh, which is uh, available now, finally. Oh, oh yeah, congratulations. Uh, I, I put it out of my own fucking Love shit. It. That was Love when it. I was on that when I was duct taped to that billboard. <laughs> that's what I, that's what the billboard was for. <laughs> I can't even wait to tell you about that. Whenever I go to a club, I'm like, who who was here last? Or like Steve, I'm like, just so you know, I'm not. This isn't. Uh, uh, I, I can't. Uh, uh, I don't do any yeah. of that. Man. Right. I mean, dude, it's it's all good, man. And and I, I'm psyched that uh, you know. I, I think that, oh, that, that that's hard. Yeah, we uh really um like i travel with with one guy and we do we do our deal i think we, we've got a good reputation on the the circuit right 100%. Like, everyone yeah. loves you everyone yeah because yeah. i love hearing the horror story <laughs> that's <laughs> my bet it's my yeah. favorite thing i'll sit down with a man do you know by like yeah. the second show on saturday everyone's all cool you've done press and stuff together and i'll go so who else have you had in here <laughs> yeah and then they just Who's they the can't one? wait yeah. to tell <laughs> oh yeah. my god we had blah 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 <laughs> yeah. two months ago i'm like oh what else <laughs> it's right. like such it's a, always the same it's cast like, of characters it's too. always this everywhere yeah. you go it's the same group yeah uh, i'm like, like why do you guys book them then you know they're gonna be there <laughs> <laughs> you guys do it every year every year i come back every yeah. year it's the same guy completely but now so now this time around and i was really pretty good on jackass 3d about it. that's why i was like uh, i didn't have a problem with uh the porta potty slingshot thing because i was in like a five point harness you know yeah. like it was as safe as as a ride at six flags you uh, know yeah. like really i mean then there's like it was filled with dog shit yeah the shit so like cool. maybe there's like a hepatitis concern but i've never been a germaphobe so. <laughs> <laughs> i love how you broke that down it's safe but the shit i can't get it right hey malik yeah. i'll show you the video later yeah. <laughs> it's crazy you've never I'm, seen him malik i've seen jack oh, oh, yeah, i, I wasn't I I worried about the shit so that was fine but now like over the last 10 years i've been like you know i don't know I, I, i've just like i've been going for it dude. i've been doing some like high level fucking shit and uh and so now i'm like okay don't want to get paralyzed i don't want to die and I, i'd actually like to add brain trauma to the you know i'm gonna yeah, i don't want to be easy on concussions hell yeah dude so <laughs> we're, we're that one week we're filming we got we got this bit and i just recognize <laughs> this as a completely concussion city fucking <laughs> and i'm like dude i'm like I, we're all suited up ready to do this thing and i actually pull the camera guy over, i'm like get over here, because I, I need this documented i said i came into this with ground rules no brain trauma <laughs> <laughs> no spinal cord injury no like and we are not even one week into production and i have already thrown my fucking rules out the window yeah, yeah, yeah. so here we go let's do it because when you get around the boys it's right. easy to say that when we're talking to your lawyer and figure and, when you're around the boys like come on steve oh yeah and then, yeah. Dude, yeah fuck it and, and, and what was crazy that this bit involved a bunch of us doing the same thing you know and it was like we're all in it together and so then it's like ready set action and fuck, next thing you know, I wake up on the stretcher. You know, Damn. I wake oh, up what? on the stretcher. I got KO'd. Like, like I would, you know, there's KO'd where you don't remember. You yeah. black out. But then there's KO'd when you're flat out unconscious, unresponsive, you know? And and then that, like, like it was, everybody said, like, uh, I don't know, like two minutes, completely not, like, not. That's so scary. Totally unconscious for two minutes. That's not good. I know, dude. It was. It was. It was I, I don't know that I've ever had. I know that I've had a couple concussions that were that bad. Not two I, minutes, though, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah I mean, that's, yeah, two minutes. That's a fight. People are concerned, my man. Right, and it happens all the time too. Yeah, it's. Wait, wait don't don't say it like you bragging. Wait, I want to know. Wait, what was the instant like stunt? You can't tell. Yeah, that's in the movie. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's in the, that's oh, in the movie. Yeah, yeah. Does your? <laughs> I was into it, Stevie. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure your, your wife now, though, you're married for those that don't right, know. Yeah, I'm sorry, yeah, I yeah, still didn't get married. I'm engaged. Oh, you just engaged. I'm wearing an engagement ring. But I'm oh, sure congrats. she's like, D come on. She's fucking pissed. Yeah, she's like, dude, you got to chill the fuck she, out. She, I didn't sign she's, up for this. She's not pissed at me. She's pissed that she didn't get a fucking call. <laughs> she's, <laughs> like, if, if she's like, can somebody on the fucking production let me know if you're in a fucking ambulance? Yeah. You know? Damn. I had, she's furious. Because she does she, She's still furious. I bet. Cause she doesn't know you from the old days, right? So yeah, she's probably like, he's chilled out, he's vegan, he's still doing wild shit, but right. it's not yeah. like 
I mean, my, my, my girl, shit. Right, my girl's a production chick. So you she, know? Knows she was she was there when when uh, when I got all burned up. <laughs> You know, like she was, she was telling me, like on on the, I did a bunch of stunts that led to like the idea was that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you were Alex shaking. Well, I'm, I'm, He's so crazy. Well, I'm like, I, I was I was looking for an ender for my for my new comedy special, right? And and the thing is, like, I mean, we we have so much in common, I think, in our comedy. Um, you know, just that we're crossovers yeah. that people fucking hate, hate that we're yeah. succeeding in comedy. Yeah. They want to I went at a guy for Steve O before. You yeah. did? Oh, yeah, a popular comic. Yeah, yeah, they they uh they fucking wanna they just they just wanna fucking us to not be they wanna say that we're not fucking funny and, and like and, and, and whatever you know but we both had comedy specials on showtime yeah you know and you know to be fair i think it's safe to say that we both did specials like you know pretty early on Way you know like where yeah. where i'm not bummed that i did the one special and and when i did my first special on showtime it was as good as it could i could it was the best fucking thing the best I, could, I had at the, the time best i was capable of yeah, at the time agreed. you know and now i look back on it and now it's like fuck i've come so far since agree then, you know agree and like uh, if i put out what i'm doing now would crush that sure but you know the way i look at it, it's like i had the opportunity I auditioned several times for it. They passed me for the special. So I was like, well, this is where I'm at right now. How right. cool would it be, you know, because I'm going to be doing comedy for the next 30, 40 years. How cool would it be if you could go back and see, say, Dave Chappelle when he wasn't sure. ready to yeah. see his special? Right. They'd be like, oh, that's dope. Sure. To see that and then where he's at now, that's dope. Right. That was my kind of frame of mind going into it. Right. And like, and then obviously people compare like, oh, your, your, your special compared to Chappelle's was shit. I'm like, Dude, I'm doing comedy <laughs> yeah. for two weeks. Yeah. Like, what do you want me to? Yeah. You're comparing right. me to that guy? Yeah. Sure. Right. Yeah. And and when whatever, dude. My like, my shit was was so filled with like shit that nobody would ever admit. <laughs> you know, yeah, in, their, yeah, in their right mind, like, and, and that, that's what what what's fucked up about. But it, Steve, you know, like no the, one's hating on you or me. That is successful. No, right. like the reason why their anger comes from that place is because somewhere along the line they think they got shafted and they see the success you're having the tickets you're selling and the fan base that you have and they want that and that's where the anger comes mm -hmm. so when i see them like i get it man i sure. get it dude yeah i get it sure right it's a dude and, right and, and i i thought that when i had my own special come out on showtime i was like oh dude well then everyone's just gonna be so shut the fuck up yep. now i'm steve was gonna be established as yep. a stand-up comedian i'm gonna be like moving up to theaters it's gonna be crazy my life's gonna explode yep it got fuck worse the special came out Nothing changed. Nothing. Changed. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing. There was nothing. It, ga it gave the 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 haters something to focus on. Mm. Nothing changed. Yeah. Nothing. nothing changed. Nothing Damn. whatsoever. Like uh, there, I wasn't selling more tickets. I was doing no. exactly the fucking same. And f you know, it seemed that very few people like commented about having even seen it. You know, yeah. it was just like the, it it's strange, right? It didn't get like, I mean, I guess because the media is so fragmented, you know, like it's a so, different world now. It's just yeah. a different world when it comes to specials. Right. But There's like, just like, so many of them. But then also mm. to this point, you can relate to this. It's like, you know, you're, you're not posting the countless time you put into doing that special and how many shows you do on the road. Like, for CA, I think uh, two years ago, this previous year before all this COVID shit happened, CA goes, You're our, you did the most cities out of any comic we have, man. So no one, they don't see that grind well, that yeah. goes mm. in to, well, to get into that special. It's so or, funny you know? when you put it that way, but they also, they also don't see how you're bringing home a check every time you practice. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Yeah, that's that, 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 actually yeah. bad. It's a beautiful, <laughs> it's a beautiful <laughs> system the way that it works. But as I got into developing my, my following, Follow up, you know, at the, the hour, right? Like, and uh, I, from when I taped the first special to when it came out, what was it like? I don't know, like five months, maybe six months. So, like, I started getting into new material, you know, so that I, I like, the transition wasn't, I'm starting from scratch, yeah. you know? As soon as I taped it, I came out, I worked on new material and then fell back on what I had that worked. So by the time the special came out, I was really close to having a whole new act. And you could tour off right. that. Yeah. So I never, right. so I didn't, I didn't stop touring in that, uh, in that space. As I put together that new hour, 
you know, I, I, I had this experience that fucking made my head explode. I was like telling these, these just over the top fucking crazy stories, which is like what my stand up is, is comprised of. And I was on stage performing the new material and I thought, holy shit. The fucking stories that I'm telling in this new act pretty much all happened on camera. So what if People I made my it. next special multimedia so that you're not just watching like me perform? It's a like, show. But there's footage edited into it. That, like brother. multimedia stand up. Almost comedy. a one man show. For sure. And, and as, as soon as I thought multimedia stand up comedy, like footage cut in i was like oh my god i think this is going to be so fucking that's a huge. broadway very, show brother very few yeah very few comedians tell stories that are true <laughs> you know yeah. and not only are mine true but there's like footage to back up like you know the, every absurd detail have, have you ever seen uh i think hassan minaj you know he had a uh -huh. he was a da uh, daily show correspondent yeah. and then when i very first was getting to stand up uh, someone's like, you should go see this guy's show because uh, I had an idea, similar idea, uh, where you would have graphics behind you telling your story, then you're doing stand up, but telling the story at the same time. And behind you, you'd have video or pictures right. from childhood. Well, they go, th there's a guy who's doing that right now. So it was Hassan uh, Minaj, one of the first show I ever saw, and he does that, and it was a live show, and f it was so good, man. He's <coughs> telling the story of him being an immigrant, uh, he's, he's Indian descent. Uh, immigrant and come where he came from and then coming to america and he has all these pictures and videos when he's a kid and coming over yeah. on the boat it's yeah. nuts man it's for nuts. sure but it was like yo a, it was the same thing I who think. does michael yo yeah it was like uh right. it was like a one-man show it was so good what I, the, the way that i was doing this was was all in in post though you know i, I let the stand up sort of like in its, own, stand -up stand -up. In its yeah. own right you yeah. know and then do it in post um and, uh, and and what I did when I came up with this idea, I wasted no fucking time going and filming my shows and then bringing in to the computer and cutting it all together. This was the most transformative thing, and I couldn't have even seen it coming. But up to that point, I, like like a lot of comedians, cringed at the idea of watching footage of my performance there's nothing worse it's just it's there's it's you so, have to do it for your special i mean i i, I was very involved I in that hated it. i was very involved in the editing, editing process oh, i hated yeah, it i was very involved and it was it was difficult yeah and that's the, the most fucking recklessly irresponsible thing i think a, a comedian can do is refuse to watch footage of their performances you know like i think that you have to and, and all the top dogs do like rogan you know <clears throat> with netflix yeah. usually they have someone that it does the editing and stuff like that. Rogan does it himself. Yeah, I believe it. You, you're talking, he spends days, <coughs> hours, hours, yeah. hours, hours, weeks editing, making sure the cut's right, the angle's right. Yeah. And, and I refuse to watch footage of my performances for like those first five years. As soon as I came up with this idea and now I'm cutting the footage in, then I'm on the computer yeah. with putting it all in the timeline, sticking the footage in. That forced me to study my my act and you got you get better from it infinitely fucking so so much because there's so much everything that makes you cringe is so that's that's a note there's that's, a reason that's, yeah that's that's yeah. that's a note that yeah. you need to address yeah, and so right. it's like ah oh, fuck i hate this this is this little and I, and I i just systematically addressed all these things and the the progression in my performing was was just sped up but so day and night right it's like this yeah because you know the right the something that you're doing that's not right that you're uncomfortable it's, with yeah. and you're like oh i i shouldn't be doing that right and for whatever reason as soon as you make that note then we yeah. go on the, fall, the the stage whatever right. the next night it's gone it's still a gradual process but god it speeds up so much when, yes. you're, when you're when you're studying the footage mm -hmm. and 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 cutting the footage into it it worked so well you know and dude this is like and i've got footage where it's like the, the act was was largely a journey through my criminal record you know right. and i'm like i'm like i was out on bail facing fucking eight years in prison Jesus. and that's when i flew over to europe and got arrested again yeah Damn, Steve for yeah, international drug smuggling yeah, <laughs> <You know? laughs> and i have yeah. footage of me doing all the international drug smuggling so cool. getting arrested it's all on camera and like the stories are so fucking crazy and like uh i'm putting it all together my head's exploding it's just something like, this is so fucking dope you know and uh what what happened then was i started thinking well if there's anything i was going to criticize about this act is that it's all like just so 
you know, memory lane shit. Like, I don't want to spend the rest of my life, like, regaling the past, you know? So I was like, let me figure out ways, ways to plug it. So I let every bit in the act inspire something completely new, like a whole fucking crazy Love stunt, it. you know? Yeah, so it's like an old story and, and like because of that I, I decided to, to do this to, to nod yeah. to that by doing this and uh so now i'm plugging in all new shit Brilliant. you know like new stunts and and building that into the act and then i was like okay so now that now it's coming together so huge now i need a, an, an insane opening sequence i knew i was going to film the special in denver but I got the whole Jackass cast together for the first time, and in, in we hadn't all been together in one spot since uh, Ryan Dunn died. Yeah, you know, and this was like a very fucking significant thing, and we we did that in L.A. <clears throat> I told the guys, I got like this billboard truck that like the ones that drive around Las Vegas, and I made a billboard for. The actual comedy special itself, even though I haven't taped it yet. I've got the billboard for the fucking comedy special, and there's a big space. We're going to duct tape me to it. And I want you guys to do the taping, to tape me to the side of this fucking billboard truck. Do whatever the fuck you want. I don't care. Just, you know, the, you, have, you have absolute open season on me. And then once you get done taping me, this fucking truck is going to drive down the goddamn highway, t t you know? I love it. At and, what speed? Yeah. At what speed? Dude, full on. They're going, man. I, I, they, <laughs> that was a deep question. question. Huh? I, thought, yeah. Yeah. I didn't know. I'm yeah, full on. And, uh, and, and so, I mean, under the tape we had harness, but that was it, like, you know transparent and the you know you see it dude it's it's so gnarly Knoxville hit baseballs at me while i was taped to this fucking that's funny truck <laughs> he hit baseballs at me so <laughs> what so <laughs> like i would say obnoxious so so like like horrifying yeah. hard <laughs> like horrifying like if the like i mean dude it, it's uh you have a cup on Dude, I know nothing but a diaper. <laughs> <laughs> Why would that right. be the and, and so and so we knew that we knew that uh like if they're getting out of LA that like it's just gonna be a bus right or they're gonna So what we did was like when I got they got done taping me to the truck, they mounted a fucking box over me. There's it looks like uh almost like a like a coffin stuck to the yeah. side, just mounted over me. So I was every bit duct taped to the truck, but with a box over Inside me to it? get me out of L.A. Jesus and uh, then once we got to, fuck, one of the, what's the town before Barstow? We fucking, they unscrewed the box, so I'm just still taped, <laughs> flying down the fucking highway. I don't know if we went 100 miles an hour, but it was just whatever, you know? Yeah, like, hell yeah. And uh, we went all the way to Vegas. Damn. Um, so the, and then once the sun came down, then, then we, we wrapped for the day, and uh, we picked it up with the sun coming up, in uh colorado like colorado that. springs whatever yeah. so we got the sun so we just we pieced it together where'd you guys shoot in colorado uh it was the gothic theater oh nice man yeah it's a great place yeah and so dude it was so symbolic too to have like the whole jackass game because when i got into stand-up it was they weren't like mean to me but it was like oh yes yeah, with your stand-up <laughs> you know, <laughs> I, get, you know? Yeah, I hear you and like it was like fuck it dude like i, know. I you know they, you know it, it, actually when i started doing stand-up it was ryan dunn who was the most supportive you know That's he was so like cool. fuck dude I, awesome. you know mm -hmm. like bam was pretty, i mean they weren't like you know but the, but the guys who are supportive i don't think people realize it like means the world no, dude. dude like means it means the world because everyone world. else like come on dude right mm -hmm. means the world and there was there was like a little bit i'm not gonna say anything Everybody was like a dick to me, but you know they don't take like, you serious though. They right. they don't take you seriously. Okay, right. how, how long is he gonna do this? Right. Like, how long are you gonna do this? But what's then, next? But by the time we filmed that opening sequence for my new special, the, the name of it is gnarly. Like it was th this th this. I mean, I'm like emotional about it. You know, you get the whole gang, yeah, every every one of every one of us together for the first time, like to like symbolically tape me to this truck and like send me off yes. you know, it's like I got goosebumps right sure, here yeah, yeah, it's cool. like that's, that's like so dope, this is the symbolism of that you yeah. know all the guys come together to support, support me you. and send me off to the theater to really fucking launch and now that they know? see the success you've had in stand-up i'm sure they're yeah. all about it now and and not only did they send me off to the theater but the fucking guys flew out 
for the for the show itself and intermittently came out throughout the show and did over the top stunts on the stage as well god i bet the fans went nuts yeah i mean the, we we had uh Noxo didn't go out for the actual live show he was there for the opening sequence bam was in rehab and uh everybody else how's, and, how's uh, bam doing by the way uh, i mean <laughs> i'd say not not good he's hanging in there <laughs> <laughs> well, well bam is bam yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know bam yeah i mean it's it's uh it's tough man i wish that uh you know what like when he had his real like fucking meltdown and he's coming mm-hmm. up with his own alphabet and he's fucking like <laughs> all over TMZ and he's getting arrested left and right. I was thinking, yes, you know, he's he's where I was at. You know, <laughs> he's, he's rock he, bottom. He he's where I was at. This is what it takes. Yes. Yeah, you know, yeah. we're gonna now he's gonna fucking do it like try and, and he's just still Damn. you know, like I feel like he he, he reached they, that because that was the problem I saw for the longest time. And, and and for what I'm so grateful for myself, which is that I got so fucking bad, it had to stop. You know, like There's like there's only was, one way to go. There was no, there was nothing fucking okay about what I was up to at the end of my run with drugs and alcohol. And and that was, but what's strange to me too for for you, I mean, it helped a lot of people. So thank God. But yeah. that's documented too. You oh, know, yeah, like yeah, yeah. I've yeah. seen yeah. that documentary. Yeah. It's yeah. fucking, it's heartbreaking, yeah. man. Yeah. 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 And yeah, and it. what's weird is Johnny Knoxville goes in, and because you guys are such boys, he, like you can tell, like Johnny Knoxville, God bless him, has like a switch where he's like, no, this isn't. This yeah. isn't cool, this man. Is, yeah, like yeah. we're not here to film, and you know, right. no one's doing that shit. We're here to help Stevo. Right. Yeah. That's sure. why we're fucking here. Yeah, for sure. And uh, you know, I, I I say it all the time. Like you know, we identify as alcoholics and addicts. It's like part of our deal in in recovery. And uh, I always say that you know, I'm an alcoholic. I'm an addict, and I'm just grateful that I suffer from alcoholism and addiction so fucking bad that I don't have to wonder if I belong in this program of recovery. Yeah, you know, you know I don't have you're to, in the right spot. That's the worst the worst situation you could be in in my view is to just have alcoholism just kind of like just suffer from addiction just enough that gray area that, that like that it's not so bad that it absolutely has to stop, but it's just bad enough that it can fuck up your everything that you do. Just yeah. bad enough that you can just make make poor decisions yeah. you can just waste a ton of time you can just not be motivated just not accomplish anything so it's just bad enough to fuck up your life so that the years turn into decades just slipping through your fingers yes. you know where in my case it was so fucking bad i had it was so clear cut i had to get sober and then once i got sober it's like oh wait a second now i'm not wasting a lot of time getting loaded so i can be going in the wrong direction making messes and but you have decisions. to be kind of a north star kind of you know uh, uh, an example for Bam and these other addicts, right? Like you should be a North Star because, like, look at Steve. He's fucking crushing yeah. it, man. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. you guys could do this. Mm-hmm. I wish. And I, I don't um, know what it says about me, but some of my best friends are all addicts, mm-hmm. or for, for, for sure. you know they're uh, recovering. You know, addicts. It's, uh, I mean, dude, it's it's the way to be. Like the thing, like alcoholism and addiction, is the only disease where when 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 you you get it and you find that after once you treat the disease any other disease you treat it and your best hope is to get back to as good as you were before yeah. you got it but alcoholism and addiction when you treat that you actually become an improved version of yourself Correct. than you were before no other disease do you still like struggle that. with this Debo? i mean but, but like you know what I'm saying? To, because you're, when you're when you're because being on tour, like <laughs> being in the comedy clubs, like to be honest, I didn't drink or do nicotine or anything before I started doing stand up. Mm-hmm. Then I was around the scene, and then Rogan was like, "Oh, I take a shot before every set," uh, and it was like a big night at the comedy store. He's like, "Have a shot with me." I'm like, dude, I I need all my wits when I'm up there. He's like, "No, I'm telling you, I've been doing this a long time. This is a relax." I'm like, "All right, I'll do it." Set of my life, dude. Off to the races now. Oh, yeah. Now you know I'm drinking all every set i have my own whiskey coming out you know what i'm saying so it's like it like alcohol and drugs kind of go hand in hand a little bit with sure. what we do you know because you're every club like that's how they make their nut too 
Yeah. Alcohol. Yeah. For sure. Plus, the, I'm, I'm the sober guy, and my, my crowd drinks like more than anybody's yeah. crowd. <laughs> you my, take pictures with every single yeah. person. I remember uh, that. You took yeah. that so great, bro. Every single person yeah. after I that. I can't believe you genuine. Yeah. That's unbelievable. Yeah, yeah I, I've always done that. Like, I, I feel like it's self serving. If I can send everybody possible home with a photo mm -hmm. then they're gonna post it on their social media they're gonna tell all their friends they had a great time at my show Correct. it's like mm -hmm. grassroots promotion yeah, i think agreed. that yeah. that really helped me you know um but you don't struggle with that with it being in the I, club I, stuff like that at all i don't i don't spend a lot of time like i, I can't i don't want to be like cavalier and and overconfident and say i don't i don't think about you know drinking drink. but like really i might travel with the sober guy you know, my dude that I travel so you're not with, around we're both it. sober. Your fiance's like, obviously sober. She's just never had an issue, you know. Right. She, she, she's never gotten loaded around me. She doesn't get loaded, you know. Yeah. She'll smoke weed sometimes, but never around me. Yeah. It's just not an issue for her. But uh, she, so it's not, um, I, I, I just kind of am I'm plugged in with, like, the, the recovery community. I, I don't feel that I'm, like, um, like at risk of, of getting loaded because like i sort of am vigilant about the, the you know whatever the program uh, but with that said you'll hear people who are clean and sober those they say something that's pretty like legitimately terrifying which is that uh i never suffered from alcoholism until i got sober because if you think about it the disease is not it really got anything to do with Drinking, the, the, the drink, it, like the disease, is this underlying sense of, of uh, like discontent, restless, mm -hmm. irritable yeah, discontent. Yeah, you're drinking I'm just to mask something. Right? Yeah, so you're drinking to you, the actual alcohol is is a symptom of the of the mm -hmm. disease. You know, like yeah. it's actually you could even go one step further. The alcohol is the the solution. That's the your medicine yes. for mm -hmm. the disease. Yeah, yeah. And then all of a sudden, the medicine turns on you. And everything that drove you to drink is still, you know, still you take there. away the alcohol, and now you're actually suffering. You, you got to deal with it. Yeah, 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 that's why it's so important to have the community of, of recovery. You know, did that's you, why. Did, did you go to a therapist? Uh, I mean, still or no? I've had well, yeah, because after the fucking uh, drugs and I got sober with drugs and alcohol, and uh, you know, I was a couple years sober and and uh, started the comedy tour. The thing about taking photos with every single audience member possible, like, uh, and this is the, you know, still to this day, every, before I get off stage, I, I will not go anywhere or do anything until I take a photo with every single one of you guys. The mm. whole, the whole audience, like, you know, basically, God bless. for the most part, up. forms a line. Oh yeah, you know, forms a line. I go, and and for the for for the first however many years of my comedy tour, that meet and greet was a glorified fucking audition to figure out who I was going to act out with sexually that night, you know, <laughs> like straight up. And, uh, that's what it, that's what it is. It just, yeah. it just dawned on me what you said. <laughs> <just, laughs> I'm sorry. I was a little late, but I got it. It was a glorified audition. It was, it was a glorified And that's audition. another addiction. Like people Completely. don't want to talk about that, but that it's, might be the worst addiction because oh, it's like, totally. you mm -hmm. don't realize it, but it's like, it's totally another addiction. And if you think about like what's taken down, like the most, like, uh, you know, successful people like destroyed the most life, you know that sex is by far more destructive by far to, yeah. than, mm -hmm. than drugs and alcohol I, I, I think <laughs> and, so how'd you deal with that uh, well, it, yeah. when, when the way that it went down I was like at this point I want to say uh, I was like 38 39 and uh, I remember going to um going to Atlanta, the punchline, where the, the club owner is Chris DePetta. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, my act at that time was all about just, like, the groupie sex, like, the triple blow job, the, you know, like, this, you know, it was just super blue. And, and, and I remember after my show, Chris DePetta was like, man, what, like, what are you doing, dude? What are you doing with your comedy, oh, man? He's like, he's like, he's like, sure, you might be getting away with it now. Oh, it's getting my dick sucked. But do you really want to, you know, you're getting to an age where, like, is that really what you want? Yeah, you know? is that what like, you put out there? Like, it, you're getting, it's just kind of creepy, really, yeah. you know? Like, and, and, and the thing was that that was my lifestyle, you know? And I was like, fuck, you know, he's right. And so the way that, the way that it unfolded, I started to think, okay, I'm 38. Like, I, like I'm, I'm almost 40. Do I really, like, 
do I want to be living this lifestyle? You know, do like, I be that guy? Is this, We're yeah. sad. I had, dude, I had this awful joke where I said, you know, like, uh, how, you know, I'm 40, like, do I, you know, I have to ask myself, do I want to be 50 and physically falling apart and trying to hump everything that moves? It's no, so I, sad. I don't want to turn into Polly Shore. <laughs> that was your joke. <laughs> yeah, that's my that joke. was your show. That was your joke. That was my joke. <laughs> <laughs> that, was one, that was one of my jokes. <laughs> but but so I was like, and and I just recognized that this wasn't the way to be happy. That, and, that and let me ask you this, Steve. Too, when you're doing those meet and greets. And at the time, I mean, it's well known. I'm not saying anything the viewers don't or listeners don't know, but you, you, there was a time you were dating Kat Von D, uh-huh. which was a super public relationship. Sure. So it's not like if you were flirting with girls, like people are aware that you have this famous girlfriend. Right. You know? And at the time, you guys were like, you're like a power couple. Yeah, that, that came later. Which is later. awkward too, you know? That, that came later. It was uh, like uh, the end of 2015. The cat and I got in uh, this fairly brief relationship. Um, mm-hmm. During 2013, I, uh, I I started out by saying, look, you know, I, I I subscribe to the idea that future happy being really happy is contingent on me learning how to have a healthy relationship. Yeah. You know, like just I just like to, to have a life respect. partner to not just with all the fucking time wasted chasing it's chicks distra- around it's a such it's a, a distraction the, it's such a distraction it's yeah. such a time waster there's just all kinds of attendant stress and then it's like you know you see when you're ghosting chicks and you feel like the fucking worst piece of Head shit man it's, it's just dude. the worst you know there's just you're everything preaching. about it was just fucking awful and i was like this isn't this isn't the way so i i, I made a conscious decision i promised myself like i'm, I'm not gonna fucking fool around with chicks on the road. I'm gonna stop acting out on the road. I'm just, you know, like, I'm just gonna, like, address my, you know, my, my behavior. And, dude, I couldn't fucking do it. I, this is like the, you know, I identified the, it's just a full addiction. I mm-hmm. broke my promise every trip. I'd come back and I'd be like, fuck, I did it again. I, I would like, say it's the toughest thing in the world. Yeah. I, I don't think people understand, but that would be one of the toughest yeah. addictions mm-hmm. to stop. That was when I got into therapy. Yeah. That, was, right. that was when I got into therapy. And a therapy, a therapist that, that uh, specialized in, in sexual addiction. And, uh, it, you know, it all did she have you text her? It was a dude. It was, it was a, dude. a dude. Did he and, have you text him uh, uh-huh. on the road? And, and, and it just turned in, it, it, it just flowed out. It, it became comedy. It, it, it flowed out. Yes. My, my, my whole act went from like, like I, I, you know, I never stapled my ball sack to my leg for the joy of it. Yeah. I did it to get laid. You yeah. know, like I wanted to get pussy, like fucking. And and then when Jackass came out, and then all of a sudden this happened. This, you know, like uh, it was th- that was my act. And then it turned into like, but I don't want to be this way. So I tried to stop. And like, you know, I said I'm not gonna fool around with any chicks. And then the next trip I go on, there I am, and and uh. The titty bar. I'm gonna say St. Louis. <laughs> I was in, it was uh, the brass rail in Toronto. <laughs> I was like, I was there, it wasn't the titty bar. I was just minding my own business. I was, I was there for the wings. I was, <laughs> dude, I was minding my own fucking business, and 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 this is completely true story too <laughs> mind my own business this this dancer and, and uh she comes running over just beelines it for me she's just like she comes hauling ass over and swivels around sticks her butt in my face oh. i look at it and she had literally my autograph tattooed on her butt oh, cheek how can Whoa. you not what Said, can you say dude, after that? how am i supposed to turn down a piece of ass with my name on it <laughs> <laughs> And everywhere I went, something like that happened. I kept breaking my own rule. Oh, and then, like, uh, and so then, like, the uh, the therapist tells me I, I gotta uh, stop. Or I gotta go for a period of celibacy, like no, no fooling around, no jacking off, no nothing. Oh wow! No <laughs> <nothing>. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm like, I'm trying to do it, and I'd like. 
you know, there was one, there was one serious thing that happened, and it was a joke where I was in the bathtub, and like the line between hygiene and romance got a little blurry. <laughs> <laughs> I ended up taking myself on a date, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> he's like, I'm just sitting here, hey, you know, fuck it. <laughs> Did you just plan a special night for yourself? I was, I was washing up. <laughs> <laughs> that was the plan. Yeah. That's right. the worst. We got to clean it up. Right. Not the worst. So then the therapist says, you got to, you know, I, I, I think you need to go into a, like an actual like program, you know, like uh -huh. sex addict rehab. And I did that. And I come out of the sex addict rehab. I'm all in just like I was with drugs and alcohol. But I'm coming out of the rehab and I got all these tour dates. Mm. And I'm like, there's no, ch I'm a, I don't stand a chance. So that was when I reached out to my guy who I travel with. I was like, hey, dude, can you come with me on this trip to Tennessee? Hold me and accountable. Because he, he's in both programs. You know, he's, uh, he's, he, he's, a, he's in both programs. And I was like, dude, I just need you to come and, and cock block for me. Yeah. You know, I was just, just be there when I do the meet and greet. And you can I always, I told him I always hire, hire. I always get somebody from the club to sell my books and t shirts. And yes. I give him like a buck of sale, you yeah. know? Mm. And I was like, you can do that. So what you, you'll get. So he comes to cock block and it's super effective. And he's like, dude, you don't have a credit card swiper? You're only selling books and t-shirts dude i've been touring with that fucking guy for the for almost seven years oh, we started in january 2014 and now we have dick pic pens steve-o <laughs> steve-o sunglasses <laughs> steve-o socks. socks we've got fucking all kinds of fucking oh dude i turn every fucking show into a flea market <laughs> My dog has a fucking merch line. <laughs> I, love it. I love it. Yeah, and uh, it's crazy. We have this fucking merch operation. Like, we're, we're like a traveling fucking production team. Like, we're shooting all this stuff. Like, got into the, where I did that first. But the first special was like the arc of like, you know, becoming famous, sexual addiction, and then working on kind of growing up so I can have a healthy relationship. Yeah, man. And like, <clears throat> to the extent that that's. You know, as how blue it was, how uncomfortably like graphic sexual shit it was. That it, like, dude, I, I stand by it, man. Like that, that, that was you my should. experience. It was, mm -hmm. you know, I fucking love that thing. But again, it didn't change my life. Then the uh, the follow up special. Now I'm, dude, dude, it's something else, man. Have, have, you, have you seen what uh, Schultz is doing, Andrew Schultz? Do you know who Andrew sure. Schultz is? Sure. Yeah, Thank God he doesn't have to say, now turn your phone. I know. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. IGTV figured it out. Yeah, so they, if you turn the phone up, it just works. Yeah, and he has some big deal coming out from that because so many people gravitate towards what he was doing on those Instagram stories, which I don't want to air his business out. But, you know, what he's doing with just releasing the clips and how, you know, he, he is doing an hour special, but releasing these clips, you know, because everyone has such a short attention span and the amount of tickets he's selling just off just clips. those kind of hot clips man he's crushing it cool. i don't know if you've considered that not that you need to wait wait when you say uh putting clips like like, like he'll, put, he'll put like a, 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 a four minute stand bit out stand uh -huh. or he'll put out his crowd workout or you know he always right. has a guy every show he goes to he has a guy recording just in case there's some hot crowd work you know because right you know how it is when you do sure. crowd work there's some dumbass in the front row and you're gonna roast him or whatever it is right it's that special time you can release that because you're never right. going to get that experience mm -hmm. again. Sure. He's always yeah. with yeah. it, man. Uh -huh. that, I mean, dude, that guy's blowing up, man. He's great. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah right? I mean, th that, I've seen a bunch, dude. Like, he, he had one of his things and his little studio setups talking about Biden, and it was so fucking funny, dude. <laughs> his takes on the political stuff. Yeah. And that's why dude. he's at where he's at now. You know, mm -hmm. he's sh sh doing this big project for mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Yeah, no. And they, it's crazy. It, it brings up uh, all kinds of uh, just curiosities I have about this sort of East versus West thing going on in comedy. Like, With this is Schultz is New York? Yeah, as New York as it gets. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say. And then he comes out here sometimes, you know, he's part right. of the crew out here. But, he, you know, he comes out here. And then Tim Dillon was a straight New York guy. He moved to L.A. And now he's doing, you know, podcasting. He's in the circle. But now he's super, you know, West Coast. It's, it's interesting, yeah. right? Yeah. It is, man. And, and 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 before we get into that, I just want I just want to direct people to this is what I did with the the new special. I put it out 
on my own website. It's really? at stevo.com. Mm. Mm. You click. The, it's so fucking explicit. You gotta fucking to watch stevo.com. Stevo.com. It's the, the official Stevo website. Bring that up, Jim. In, yeah. in order to fucking uh <laughs> 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 I don't you see last episode there's a lot of naked guys. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. Right. Scroll scroll down. <laughs> well, hey, okay. A little bit, uh, okay, so go ahead and click on me duct tape to the billboard truck. Mm -hmm. It's gonna make you confirm that you're eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at that picture. Yeah. Okay, hit, hit hit play on the trailer. Mm -hmm. Dude, you gotta see the fucking you got to see right. that this is going to be gnarly. with Knoxville hitting <laughs> pretty gnarly. You got to hit this. I did gnarly. Are yeah. we ready? Yeah. Dead. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> no. Yo. What? <laughs> Like, I, I don't want to... Uh, I mean, women can paint their boobs and show them on Instagram. So I figure I should be able to paint my dick and... Steve-O! Steve-O! I a white man with a black dick. He showed us a zebra. Black dick. Oh, black dick. Oh, that was black dick. Black dick. <laughs> now I was in the... Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Hold on, bro. Wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> he had a black dick. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Steve, oh, yeah, embrace ourselves. And <laughs> Wait, you set yourself on fire? That's, that's where you got the burns, that's right? The, that's where I got the, the burns. Who's yeah. not going to see that clip? Me like, yeah, I'm buying this shit. Right? Oh Yo, my God. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're not about to swallow a condom. You're not about to swallow a condom. Uh, I, swall oh, I swallowed a full load of my bro's cum. <laughs> Yo, your, bro your bro's? Yeah, well, my bro blew a load in the condom before I swallowed <laughs> it. Uh, I feel sick. <laughs> Yo, yeah. Steve, oh, you could have oh left. We could have. We could have. You could have just told us. Yo, hell no. That was, <laughs> that was Yo, great. So, so that's the reaction to the trip. The whole fucking. Thing. <laughs> Dude, the, the I like whole, how we go back and like the, the whole, the whole, the whole fucking board. thing. I could, I stand by this thing from start to finish. I'm, it's my, Ooh. it's my baby. It's I my might have to cut that. That's ten dollars. Ten dollars. Something you man. Yeah. I just fucking love you, dude. No, he's thanks, a living legend. I'm freaking out, bro. He's a living like, legend. I've been, I've been following you since I was a little well, kid. Well, thank man. you, man. You know, I told yeah. these guys that yeah. I, I said, get ready, Steve O's on no, the show. Yeah, I'm, I'm dude. I'm used geeking to, out. Bro, you, <laughs> changed, you changed shopping carts for me. You remember how y'all used to fuck around and shop? I used to go there and sit there and let my mom push me. I'm like, go faster like how you doing, jackass, mom. Yeah. Steve, yeah. I, I think it's smart what you're doing, though, releasing on your own website. Uh, yeah, I can tell you about the business of it. Yeah, I'd love to hear it. <laughs> yeah. I'd love to hear it because okay. th there's been guys who have done it before, but they don't uh, kind of command the same audience that you do. Like, I'm sure it's going really well for you because, like, Louis C.K. has done that before. Sure, There's been guys who've done it before. Louis C.K. was super prolific in doing it. And not only did he do his uh, his Louis series, he did his, uh, the initial window on his website and then sold it to FX, I think. Yes, correct. Which oh. is crazy. I don't think that that flies. And did, did you know he released, I think it was either a series or a special, and he wanted to see what doing kind of promotion without doing it how many views he'd get just word of mouth right he wanted to do an experiment really? where he did no promotion <laughs> and he's like he was like i don't know if promotion matters that much so i'm just gonna release it and i'm not gonna say anything that was a recent one no he did uh, years ago oh we, we see a lot of uh like beyonce doing that like yeah. uh, eminem surprise albums yeah, you know yeah, and they it. crush it's like the fact that it's a surprise makes everybody else mm, promote it mm -hmm, yeah mm -hmm. like oh my god it was, yeah yeah you know, that is true it's better. i like yeah. drake did it drake, drake did it well j cole do it yeah. all the time but yeah. but I, but i think you kind of betting on yourself is like i just think it's the move man i think yeah. there's so many comics and people in show business they're waiting for that approval from from the from the man they're waiting for these huge networks to go right okay we think you're funny we think you're good enough and it's like well i have what you guys want i got a built-in audience oh, dear. and they know what i'm about and they're down man yeah so i'm either gonna do it here if you guys don't do this i'm gonna do it here so right. it's gonna work one way right or the other. now dude this is it's there's the, the of course like the <clears throat> there's so much nudity there's so much fucking like heavy drugs we saw the black like <laughs> grievous bodily harm criminal activity there are a lot of reasons why this was never gonna GBH. be a uh it, it was never gonna have a chance at comedy central they would you never know? approve it like the only places i could have sold it were gonna be netflix mm -hmm. or hbo or showtime and did you try that <clears throat> i did yeah i fucking taped that thing 
J okay, just shooting it. The, the, the night of the special, you can see it's properly produced. Really good. It, I, what was it? Fucking $125,000 for the filming of the special itself. Mm. But then, like just the opening sequence, you know, we, we filmed in LA, we filmed in, in, in Denver, I f flew all the jackass guys in, like rent, all that, like, by th and then all of the, the vignettes, all, all of the, the additional bits, every one of them was, was a shoot in its own right. Yeah. By the time I got done actually sh just shooting the fucking special, I'd spent over a quarter million dollars on it. <laughs> and then, and then let alone like by the time I, you know, I put it out, yep. I thought it was like 300 grand. You know, but that that's up to, to present day. That fucking special was taped in Denver in January of 2018. Damn. I fucking I knew how dope it was, and I fucking put put it together. I got it done, and then I I fucking the the agents would like uh brought it to 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 every you know. And Netflix, this guy uh, who buys comedy specials, he was just like, you know, I'm like a, a comedy snob. You know, I don't want to give a comedy special to somebody who's not a lifelong like stand no way. comedian like uh we're really more interested in like giving 20 million dollars to david chappelle you know or like or whatever you know the like bullshit they have on there i mean they the green they greenlit uh i think 800 comedy specials on there right oh, really I, 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 and, and i just couldn't fucking figure it out but netflix wouldn't go for it and then and hbo and showtime it's the same thing i don't know they're like they, there's too many specials out there so we we like the like we want this the most prestigious one and i was like what i felt like fucking dr dre on his defiant ones i was watching that and he yeah, said it's a great, that, yeah, it's a great one. he said that when he fucking finished the chronic he brought the chronic to mm -hmm. every record label mm -hmm. every record label passed on and they mm -hmm. rejected the fucking chronic and yep. he was like no i believe in it mm -hmm. and i think that's that's how we started aftermath or some shit mm -hmm. yeah and i was just like dude i got the fucking chronic like, this, this this fucking thing is the chronic and i was just bashing my fucking head against the wall to figure out how to put it together on my own website finally i i, I, I put it together and very recently it only just went up but when um but i, I put it out on my own and um i put it out in july by the time I was duct taped to that billboard, I'd already gotten my money back. Correct. I already, I'd already gotten my money back. And that's, that's what I'm and about. it's a lesson for, for other comics. It's like all, all these guys are waiting for the Netflix and yeah. the Showtime, mm -hmm. the HBO to go, yeah, we think you're good enough. It's like, man, fucking Bet pay your own path, man. And dude, Don't wait on that. Because, like you said, take right. it from me and Steve, it's not, a lot of times, it's not life changing on there. It was, if, even if you get right. on Netflix, hate to tell you, if you get on the Monster of All Monsters, Netflix, I know a million comics who get on Netflix. They don't sell a, another extra ticket. After that? It does nothing. No. Because they, they get lost in the shuffle. Yeah. Unless you're yeah. one of those big boys. It and can't. That's the algorithm. Really, yeah, like yeah. like yeah. the last one that I know for a fact changed his life. And I don't know if anyone's ever going to see the same return. But Nate Bargatze. He's a yeah. phenomenal comic. Finally had his chance. Got on Netflix. It was just the right timing, the algorithm. It was like, oh, Bill Burr special. Well, you might also like Nate Bargatze. <clears throat> and then he's, his career blew up, and he has the talent, and he, he's been doing putting in the work. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, a lot of guys I know who are on Netflix, Showtime, or HBO, it just doesn't work that way, man. Yeah. yeah. yeah I mean, it's crazy, dude. Um, Good for you, Steve-O. Uh, dude. Now, the kids, but I was, so, I was so fucking pissed because I knew. I mean, I'm like, the, just the fact of... The multimedia like th from start to finish this entire hour special like is it, it it's completely packed with every fucking joke you're watching what i'm talking about you know they're like it's it's completely loaded from start to finish with just bananas fucking footage yeah and then like half of it's completely new plus it's got the whole cast of jackass plus i got fucking skin graft surgery on 15 percent of my fucking body for the ender yeah you know yeah. like i but mean don't dude, you think the fit like and i think too one of the reasons why it's a success is fans realize what you're doing you oh, know what i'm dude. saying it's like yeah. there's something that turns them off when you do get on netflix or hbo or showtime i think when fans realize that you put all your blood sweat and tears in mm. this dude, you're banking on yourself yeah 99.9 percent .9 of people go oh i can fuck with that yeah. dude, because they get it man because yeah. so many people right. have been shafted by the man mm -hmm. i was so fucking pissed i was I so know. fucking pissed at netflix i was so fucking pissed at everybody who could i actually filmed a fucking thing calling them out in the credits but here's my thing. <laughs> i put it in, i put it in the credits <laughs> here's my thing with that steve well thank god 
glad they did that. Right. Well, yeah. Yeah. I, I you wouldn't got the same return. Right. And I know at the time when they turn you down, it's fucking heartbreaking. Because yeah. when I first started touring as a headline comic, I had clubs that wouldn't let me come to their club. Certain yeah. clubs. My favorite club, the Comedy Works in Denver. I grew up in Denver. I heard about it. It was my favorite club. They went, we can't have Brendan. We can't have him headline. We're just... We're, let's let's give it more time and so finally like a year went by and my agent's like i'm telling you this this kid he's doing he's at the comedy store he's at the improv he got passed at the ice house you should give him a shot they went we'll give him a thursday we'll give him one show on thursday if he does good on thursday then the following year we'll see what happens i do that thursday following year they offer me a full weekend Damn. but it's like that yeah. like to me like my initial reaction was like oh f all those clubs i made a mental note <clears throat> all yeah. those clubs like <clears throat> fuck those people yeah and then you realize it's like oh it's not it's not that they don't like you it's just right. you know they're, sure. they're in this kind of old school mentality right it's just this old school mentality right well here's here, here's what i did <laughs> 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 like, yeah, yeah Steve, that's fantastic. Here's what I did. <laughs> Here's what I, did. I, I already fucking it, it, it launched strong. I got my money back, and I was like, okay, you know what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna fucking buy a billboard in in Hollywood. I picked one that has the fucking Hollywood sign prominently be behind it, mm -hmm. right? I already fucking got like in crazy trouble with the climbing up the crane, the Sea World stuff. Thing. Yeah, yeah. but I'm off probation. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I respect that. But, yeah. but but I'm off probation. I was like, you know Game what? On. I was like, you know what? That billboard's not cheap. You know, whatever. It's eight grand. You know, eight thousand bucks for the month. Like, and then add on top of that to get me up there and mount me onto it. You know, I gotta hire an entire construction team, two cranes. You know, I fucking it's you know, and I'm you know maybe I'm gonna get myself in some fucking trouble. Maybe it's gonna you know, <clears throat> but. <laughs> <laughs> but but i think that uh that this is gonna this is gonna they're gonna fucking find out about this you know? so i i go up on that billboard and and for the first hour like nobody seems to care a cop fucking kind of slows to a roll sticks his cell phone out fucking snaps <laughs> shot <laughs> 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 and i'm like dude i just you know because that was largely what brought the whole budget for the special over 300 grand you know and uh and then I show up on this citizen app. It says, man, duct taped a billboard. And some, some, it's supposed to be like local in your neighborhood, but somehow like 700,000 people have fucking viewed, like, uh, viewed that. Like it was a live stream or something. Oh, and um, once that happened, dude, now there's hundreds of people everywhere and fucking like Boom. cops and fire trucks. And I'm like, oh, dude, I really don't want the fucking fire department to do this. I kept my construction team there. And then the, the guy comes straight to the first responders. He says, hey, look, we have a whole team. We've got our own cranes we can bring them down it's completely safe you don't have to waste your time and they were like oh well it's the liability that we we have to take them down oh, you know but man. but it did uh, its job though it did its job because within 48 hours of me coming down off of that billboard there were articles online i saw it from all over dude from Vanity Fair. <laughs> I had never been written up by Vanity Fair before. Vanity Fair, Variety, Rolling Stone, People Magazine, fucking BuzzFeed, Deadline, TMZ, TMZ Fox, CNN, USA Today. Fucking, <clears throat> it went on and on and on. It, it was probably the most fucking publicity. I've done publicity stunts in the past. This one might have been... The, that was a big boy. It was a big, it was a big one. one. Yeah. It, was, it was a wow. fucking big one. And I'm just like, those fucking fuck faces. Mm -hmm. What they could have had, you know? Yeah. What they could have had. And now, like, now they need to understand that when I make my my next special mm -hmm. and, and 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 i again i taped gnarly in january of 2018 you have all new material oh dude i've been touring now the now the material comes with me on the road yeah mm -hmm. now each bit and there's no more there's no more memory lane on yeah. my new tour now it's the bucket list tour yeah. it's the the fucking bottom of the barrel stunts that didn't happen for damn good reasons yeah. and i went ahead and did them anyway yep. and so it's a hundred percent all new material about new shit i did so i'm not regaling the past anymore and uh and 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 i'll be ready to do that 
Whenever. I picture that when Jackass 4 comes out, I'll have my bucket list special ready to come out. I'll have my, my new book ready to come and out. I bet they're going to be singing new- a different tune, but my, my question for you is, it, do you want to go down that lane? That's the question. You still want to, you know what I'm saying? Because we know this works. Right. And that's without the Netflix algorithm. Correct. That, that's without their promotion machine. Mm-hmm. Me, on my own. All Steve. Like, uh, <clears throat> Yeah. You well, know, I, I think it's tough. I think, you know, for some comics, and there's not a ton of them, but some people are just undeniable. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're undeniable, Steve. Yeah. You know? And, and, and I honestly, like, wholeheartedly believe that every single fucking person who watched my special on steveo.com, who streamed it from there, like, is a completely satisfied customer. Yes. Through That's and good. through. Yeah. And that I'm building goodwill with my audience such that when I do put out my next special, they're going to be there. They're ready to go again. I was so happy that I made that purchase yep. last time around. I'm ready to do it again. Mm, and I'll have just built built up the machine. So the next time around, and, and likely, we never know what the world stopped spinning, but it's likely that Jackass 4 will come out in September 2021. I bet it does. Yeah, I'll have my, my follow up to my my book you know i have a new book coming yep. out at the same time you know like uh like uh, it looks like i'm selling a television series to the usa network oh damn you know <clears throat> um and and then that new bucket list special like it's gonna be like a potentially a big fucking year next year 2021 is gonna be big 2021 could be really fucking big and and yeah, I, put, I jumped on the podcast bandwagon too i know and your podcast is <laughs> doing well right that's what was great about the the coronavirus shutdown we were we were filming jackass 4 for one week during that week my agent called up and said hey man like uh you're selling out your sh- your shows in the, in the comedy club so far in advance I, it no longer makes sense to me to uh, and to even entertain offers from comedy clubs. Like, congratulations, you've graduated to theaters. Jesus Christ! And then Damn. boom. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo. And, then, and then boom, it all, it all goes away. Yo. So that's what sucked. You know, the, the, that that all getting shut down sucked. But you know, I've got like my 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 digital operation. You know, I've got like super active with the YouTube. I and had, that's the blessing because yeah. I, it forces a lot of people to get creative and figure out other right. revenue streams and other content yeah and and I, I already had the wheels in motion for my podcast i had three episodes banked when the the, the uh coronavirus shutdown happened but i just you know I, so i did a lot of them on zoom but you're doing it out of your out of the trailer yeah right? it's, it's an rv i p- parked it on the street Hell yeah. right outside <laughs> oh you have an rv parked yeah outside right now? you know for years it was the most annoying question like will you do my podcast i'm like Fuck. you know because yeah, everybody's yeah. got a podcast and most mind. most podcasts don't have an audience you know like so yeah. it's like oh i hate that question the worst. and now i'm going to be the one asking that question so I yeah like, but I, a lot of people owe you favors different. Yeah, I, mean, I suppose, but but the the only way that I could wrap my head around jumping on the podcast bandwagon was if I if I could have a mobile studio that I can bring to the guests to make it easy whenever it is convenient for you yeah. wherever you want it to have I'll just pull up you jump in the RV yeah I remember we were talking yeah. like, dude I'll just pull up to your house I'm like what the yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, yeah and, let's and, do dude, it man and we still gotta do it we man. still gotta we do still it we still gotta do it yeah. I, I, I love that I've saved you because I know that it's gonna be a fucking killer yeah, when, when, uh, when I get you in there yeah. <laughs> and dude I've like I I have, uh, you know, booking. I, mean, I don't know if for, for you if, if you even trip it that much, but dude, I agonize over like trying to get fucking well, you huge know, names. For for me, it was like you know, for the longest time doing Fire and the Kid, it was me and Brian Callen, and so we would have guests, and then became it was just me and Brian, so we weren't so guest heavy because the audience was tuning in because it was just me and Brian, and then the relationship between me and Brian, and then. Obviously, shit hit the fan with Brian. These allegations come, and then he can't be on the show. And so I'm like, oh, what the hell am I going to do? And then, you know, thank God for Chappelle and Malik. And I, I told Kat, I'm like, I, I need help, man. I'm either going to stop doing the show or I need help. Because I, I just, you know, I do two other shows. I do a show for Showtime. Sure, and with Theo. I, and I do the one with Theo, King of the Sting. And it's like, I'm spread so thin. If I have to take this on and then rely on guests, well, I'm not going to make it. So then yeah. Kat started booking, and thank God for Kat, man. You know, thank God. Yeah. Because the, the guest is, 
Uh, it's such a sure. beast, man. People don't realize it's it's. Dude, it's I gotta such bra- I gotta brag about it. <laughs> I was able to get, dude. I'm fucking. I'm just <laughs> you so just mu- you're Steve-O. Thing. I just I just did Mike Tyson. Had him, yeah, had him mother in, saw that. Yeah, had Mike him in Tyson. The did you do his too? The hot box. Uh, I have done his twice. But but How he gets high as shit, right? But he can't. Yeah, do. he doesn't do it for me. Like he uh, does it he, before. He, he respectfully doesn't uh, hot box. Yeah, he can't. For, you yeah. can't hot box. With I mean, yeah, I, like some people probably don't don't care for me it's like i'm breathing it in i, I don't like, you don't want to be around i can't be breathing in so you've had a who you've had mike tyson you had john jones i, I saw john jones how yeah, great was did. john that what how good was john it, it was great yeah i watched the episode yeah yeah it, well thank you dude i yeah. thought uh, i thought it was it was really good um yeah it was fucking shack dude i had shaquille o'neal <laughs> man i had, I had yeah. fucking demi lovato i love that's a big one I love yeah. 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 ronda yeah. rousey i had <laughs> oh, yeah, great one. Um, yeah. Uh, fucking uh tiffany haddish was huge Jeez, oh hell man. yeah that's yeah. a beast you have a lot yeah. you're steve yeah. man everyone loves yeah. you yeah well you know? I, dude thank you man you're great like, peoples uh, man well, very genuine i was there that guy we don't have a date but we're gonna have snoop He's gonna oh, be great. God. Yeah, I can't wait for. Is something. there anybody you, you're like dying to have on that you can't get on? Ah, uh, fuck, man. Um, I read that. I don't know why. Fucking, I haven't been able to book fifty, but he's like my old bro, Fifty Cent. Really? You know? Yeah. He'd be good. Damn. Yeah. What? Yeah. He'd I was uh, like. Do you got to drive to New York though? Nah, there may be a Zoom. <laughs> oh, you know, okay. but like, uh, I think it, it, people forgive uh, Zoom calls. Dude, it would have been dope if Shaq was in the RV because be like, he'd be a, he'd so barely big. fit in there. Yeah. But uh, we had him on Zoom. I love yeah. that, man. <laughs> so yeah, it's called Wild Ride with Steve-O. And, uh, it's a great oh, podcast, awesome. man. Yeah, yeah tomorrow we put up Ryan Sheckler. Oh, I love him. Yeah, he's, he's rad. Dude, I, I, I asked. He, he said how on his MTV show... Uh, which ran for a number of seasons that like he was sort of going through growing pains of being a teenager and like wildly successful yeah. and all on camera and his parents got divorced while the show was filming and i was like man you know uh did like did your earnings play into your parents divorce were they like fighting over like yeah, your shit <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then i was like i'm sorry i asked that <laughs> fucked up question he goes, he's like oh no that's don't worry about good. it yeah he's i'm sure by telling now me everything dude it's yeah. great dude so yeah like I, that's what i've been doing in the shutdown the coronavirus i've just been uh are you, are you gonna dude. start booking some tour dates or are you still I just off? got my first offer for a drive-in scenario. I, 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 it I might one. work for you. I don't yeah. I've heard good and bad. Like Burt Kreischer, he loves everything. Yeah. So he swears by it. Chappelle did one. I didn't do I'm I'm doing I'm straight up doing ass and improv in Dallas this weekend. Okay. So I'm, I'm back yeah. on regular tour. All right. right. Did, so. Do you have the antibodies after your I do. your dust up with some <laughs> 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 people, people were so mean about it man yeah yeah people are brutal about it yeah I, oh yeah. my god yeah they were i saw one particularly fucking uh mean headline and you gotta just credit to just credit the person for for coming up with the witty headline like <laughs> covid Ooh. it said covid the only thing killing at a brian shop show <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> yeah, me, me and Brian both got it at that show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, wow. I, I didn't get it. Yeah, oh, oh, that's good. right. You didn't get it. I huh? didn't get it. Nah, now, she, you know, Jay, yeah. Jay didn't get it either, right? No. Yeah, and, and, yeah, and, 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 I, I just said that just to. Be, you know, I don't. I, I'm sorry. I even no, said that's that. hilarious. It's, 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 funny, it's funny. Funny headline. It's funny headline. Yeah. It's a funny headline. Um, I did. I uh tested positive for the antibodies like never oh good for you i never even you might have been asymptomatic and i was totally asymptomatic because there's never a point where i felt even remotely ill Mm -hmm. yeah Yeah. it wasn't bad for me but everyone's different but dude you know you're always welcome here brother we love Uh, the fuck out of you man man. i'm actually watching your special tonight man i'm i'm just proud of what you're doing man thank you man it's not gonna let you down and uh and then maybe 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 i will do the bucket list show dude the bucket list tour i fucking i I went so overboard i'm looking forward to jackass 4 coming out and doing all the press for it and being like yeah jackass 4 whatever because i can confidently say that like jackass you know whatever happens to jackass the gnarly shit is in the bucket list correct okay like i was like you know i i had these ideas for decades 
that uh, just that just wasn't in the cards for them to happen. You yeah. know, like like skydiving for for like twenty years. People ask me about skydiving, and I was like, ah, everybody does that. That's not mm-hmm. a stunt. I said, you know, for it to be worth it for me to go skydiving, since the first time you uh, have to have a guy Somebody strapped on you. your back, yeah. I'm gonna be butt fucking naked. <laughs> And furiously jacking off, <laughs> and, and, and I'm gonna. T- I'm gonna <laughs> oh, he added another layer. No, to that. I, was gonna, I was like, okay, well, yeah, we both can't just jump out of it. <laughs> and I'm gonna, you can't and I'm gonna time it so that I fall out of the airplane, blasting everywhere. Dude. Hilarious. Wait, wait, and uh, dude, there are a lot of layers to that. <laughs> there's a lot, just the mental. Well, dude, there, there's a lot of layers. First off, just like the initial calls to the. To the company. Hey, I don't know if you ever heard of Steve O. Oh, fuck. Yeah, we love Steve O. Whatever he wants to do, we're in. And then explain the, explain the idea and like a lot of silence on the call. <laughs> <laughs> we're actually not there. Yeah. there. Yeah, a lot of silence on the call. And so then we kept getting <laughs> shut down. Like we, we called so many and they were like, oh, no, we really can't do that. You know, like, so I said, fuck it. They don't want to fuck it. Mm-hmm. I go on my social media with the Instagram story. I'm like, hey, I'm looking for a professional skydiver who, with a tandem license <laughs> to do uh, a stunt with me. We got m- a million. I, dude, I fucking uh, <clears throat> got to have your license and like contact my guy, my cock blocker, Scott. And <laughs> Scott, Scott tells me, he's like, dude, we got 72 licensed tandem skydivers. And I'm like, right on. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Now right tell on. him the idea. <laughs> <laughs> like the the logistics, the fucking both dudes across. That's that's the closer for the bucket list. Dude. I love that dude. Wow. I'm sure there's one or two that are like, yeah, we're down. Right. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, yes, no, no, this one guy was like fucking. He's like, I'll I jack off know. with him. He strapped his back jacked it off. Like, no, that's not the plan, dude. It wasn't far off. Yeah. It was fun. It was Please fun. let me be the one. <laughs> yeah. It was a foreign dude. But, uh, but dude, that, that, he was a foreign dude. <laughs> but dude, like, to start to finish on the bucket list show, if, 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 the, if the world starts spinning again, dude, like, I got like... I always want... I didn't want to have kids, so like, I had an idea for the longest time. I'm going to get a vasectomy and do like uh, the vasectomy Olympics. We're right out of the procedure. I'm fucking, oh, you know, man. rigorous shit. And why don't you, know? you want kids? Because fuck kids, man. Number one, my DNA. <laughs> number one, like Respect passing that. on my DNA is very problematic. My family tree is n- not like, uh, <laughs> it's just tough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like it's tough. It's like with, the, no al- with the alcoholism and the addiction, and uh, gambling, yeah, yeah. And suicide. Like it's my whole family tree on my mom's side. It's you know, time. it's like a Russian roulette with a loaded gun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fully loaded. Um, but then there's like the, just the, the dwindling opportunity, the, the whole fucking dynamic of the rich get richer and the poor get poor stop being fucking funny. Like, you know, it's yeah. not like the, the, the dwindling opportunity. I don't have it in me to create a new person to swim against this fucking stream that just becomes more powerful against you. The odds just sure. like, like yeah. why? You know, why? You know, like with uh, you know, take the, the COVID shit, right? Like. I, I got interested in, in uh, okay, well, how many people die anyway, right? We're making such a big deal out of 200. 7,500 a day. Yeah. yeah I, I, I came up with the last uh, the last well-documented year was 2018. It was 7,700 per day. So, like, how many of these COVID deaths would they have died anyway, right? Like, yeah. I mean, I don't want to, like, discount it, but my sister did put it this way. She said, you know, like, when, when World War One, World War Two, whatever, like, when, like, war situations happen. Like, the tragedy of all of that loss of life is that everybody dying is young, like, 18-year-old, super healthy, yeah, fucking, you know, people. But, like, my sister said, you know, without being, like, you know, <clears throat> like, like, you know, dickheaded or whatever. These people on the back it. nine of life anyway. Right. Yeah, the you average know, like, age is 80. Right. And, uh, you know, you've got people with, uh, you know, vulnerabilities. Like, you know, it, you could look at COVID as uh, sort of the opposite of, like, the, the loss of life during, during war, you know, with all the young people dying. In this case, you've got people who really serve to be a drain on Medicare, you sure. know, on, on like whatever the the you know 
fucking bills and everything. So, like, it's almost like kind of cleaning up the system a little bit. And, I mean, if it, call me a dick, whatever. Like, uh, that's that was my sister who said that. <laughs> right? Yeah, I'm not claiming but, uh, <laughs> yeah, How many people die? And then, like, so the, here's the fucked up part. 7,700 people die anyway every day. But, like, 11,000 are born every day. Yep. Mm. I mean, what the turn. fuck? Nuts. What the fuck? Nuts. Right? Yeah. Like, come on. <laughs> come on. It's and so it's like going to go get a vasectomy and uh, jump on a fucking bareback horse in my hospital gown and go galloping Holy like gosh. to the fucking piñata party where I'm the piñata. Oh, yeah. You know, like... And and I'm the weird one, <laughs> you know. Like for like, I like I'm the weird one for wanting to get a vasectomy. Like look at the Not numbers. Not to each its own, man. Look You're at the weird. numbers, dude. Well, whatever's best for your lifestyle. Yeah, the numbers man. are dumb. Yeah, you know the numbers are dumb, dude. Like to have more kids. Like, but it would be cool to have another Steve-O on this planet. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like you're a good person, Steve P. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah, I appreciate that, and and. Uh, you know like some people like out of those eleven thousand, most of them probably shouldn't be having kids i mean but we dude, could use more steve like idiocracy was like a, a funny concept but dude it's not comedy it's no. the fucking it's world the, yeah it's the truth oh the you movie know? with uh yeah, yeah, the, 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 the Luke yeah, Wilson. Yeah. Luke Wilson. Yeah, uh, yeah like Terry Crews, like the president. Shit. Yeah. yeah, it's <laughs> like I mean, just the 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 people having the most kids are just right. Yeah, they, the mo the people who are no most. More. People who are most qualified to be like, I, I think that you should have to get a license to get to have a kid. That's what, yeah. that's what I think. You, know, you got You have to get a license to catch a fucking fish. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> It's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get out of the license, have a gun. Yeah. Yeah. Drive a car. Yeah. Yeah. Child you know, kids, it's just whatever. Right. Yeah, you're right. So so whatever. But well, uh, check out the special man. Steve yeah. dot com. Yeah. yeah, please do. We'll let man. you down. It's uh Gnarly, it, 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 G. Yeah. I would assume that clip sells itself. We don't really need to say too much. It, I mean it's it's pretty indicative of uh of, of how fucking gnarly it is. And yeah. let me know, man. Whenever, whenever you're ready, I'll jump in that. Yeah, uh, dude, I love it, man. RV, and we'll get I, it I love it. Like, uh, I got Theo coming on, uh, imminently. Great, it's, man. It sounds yeah. like. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I can't wait. I I can't even wait. And there's just so much that uh that we didn't get into on this that I'm just dying to ask love you it, about. Brother. You know, like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so much shit to talk, and we got a lot of work to do. <laughs> <laughs> and dude, thank you guys too. No, man. dude, bro, hey, man. Man. Yeah. dude yeah. so yeah. you're a living legend, bro. Hey, yeah, I appreciate you, are. you, man. You thank, are. thank you. Living Anytime, legend. Steve. -O, we love yeah. you, man. Well, Steve, -O, you, man. ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. All right. Dude, hell yeah. Steve O's great, right? Man, how about great. Steve O, man? Thank you, thank great. you, B. Great, great. How long have you known him? Uh, I've known Steve. Steve O came on Fire and the Kid probably like five years ago when we were at Fox. And then Steve O and I relate because, right, like he came from this kind of different path to stand up. I came from a different see, path. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then people talk shit about Steve O. Then mm -hmm. they start including me. Mm -hmm. And then uh, this comic who's kind of well known started talking shit about Steve O. And then someone was like, yeah, but that's not always the case. And it was like, because Brendan Schaub. And then they started defending me. And then the guy was like, well, we can't defend Brendan shit on Steve-O because they're the same. Mm -hmm. Like, basically, they yeah. came from different paths mm -hmm. and had this built-in audience and then started doing stand-up. So mm -hmm. then me and Steve-O always just had each other. But backs. also, stand-up's not one of those things where it's like, you have to start at this age. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not like fighting where you have to start or like or anything. like Fighting's a bad example because you got Randy Couture. You got guys who start Brock Lesnar. Who's way later. Who's way later. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean... You but know, but even, but there, even but starting stand up later, like it's an advantage. It's not even later. It's just well, but it's later than like I didn't start like when compared to Fahim or uh, Anwar c compared yeah. to Dave Chappelle when they're sixteen or fourteen, where the fuck it is. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know. So I started later, but for me, it's an advantage because I've I've more life experience. I've better thing. I have better mm. perspective. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know. If I started doing stand when I was nineteen, you don't know what the fuck's going Dude, on. Dude, the shit you, I was I talking about early on, I'm like, what the fuck? I think about yeah. it. Like, what the hell was I talking about? Mm -hmm. Well, me and Steve, I probably talk to Steve at least once a month. Once just, a month? Yeah, he's just such a good dude. Yeah. Such a genuine guy. Yeah. Lo just a really good dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's hard to follow at the comedy store, too, because his stand up's different. I it's not like, yeah, yeah. It's not, you know, like bit, 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 bit. It's like a story. Mm -hmm. And he's so famous. You know, everyone knows. So I'll tell a story like him dumping hot sauce in his eye. But then it goes comic, comic, comic. 
Steve O comic and then comic comic comic. So it's mm-hmm. like it's just a different like rhythm. energy. It's yeah. just a different yeah. rhythm. So yeah. It's yeah. Okay. Gotcha. No, he was. Uh, I had so much fun with him that weekend. We did uh, when I did Timpy. Yeah, he didn't remember, but not a big deal. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he definitely no, he didn't. Of course, he, he definitely didn't. didn't. Many, yeah, I look different. Yeah. You do look different. I didn't have no. I, I had a. You I had, usually cut my hair high and tight. Mm-hmm. That's probably. And that's why I, I didn't. Is. I didn't. Uh, <laughs> 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 what? I was running with you, dude. I was going with you. <laughs> hey, look! I, <laughs> <laughs> he could have thought it would have been him. All of us look the same. Let's well, not do that. You said it, not me. Yeah. Did you guys watch the debates last night? Hell no. yeah! It was like, bruh. Did you guys watch it? That was a roasting mm-hmm. session. There must have been forty to fifty million. I don't. Do we know the ratings? Bring up. The, do we know the ratings, dude? It was like a Super Bowl. I was. Ner- I had anxiety. I was nervous. Really? Then they come out. It was a shit show. It was just them like interrupting each other. Yeah, you know, oh, like it was funny. Nothing got accomplished. Like let's say you're in the middle. You're like, I don't know who I'm going to vote for. Exactly. You'd watch that and be like, Ah, what the fuck. It was just them arguing. 65, 65 million people watched it. Is that a lot? That's a lot, dog. To that's, watch something? That's insane, dude. That's insane. Dog, I you never really it. looked at Joe Biden, like, looking at him last night. Yeah. I was like, yo, you look at him, you just, his face looked like history. Like, that, <laughs> <laughs> like I was like, what the? <laughs> like, yeah, bro. Like, I, you shouldn't be in this I, period I, of time. I was like, bro, how do I know the Bill of Rights <laughs> already? And just, just old school shit, too. Like, Trump was like, it was like, how about your son? He's like, my son was a gold medal winner. Mm-hmm. He goes, no, not oh, that son. I saw son. that clip. The, He's co- like, the one that was doing all the cocaine <laughs> got kicked out. Like, He's like, ah, he was going in. He was off. It's like, damn. He was going. Bro, he and, called and the, the mediator. It's like, it's such a tough job. Like, you need to be such an alpha male to be the mediator because Trump's just going to fucking take control. Yeah. So, and so, so like, what, the guy, oh, so like Trump is such an alpha male. The guy, like, you only have two minutes and he would just steamroll through him. Mm-hmm. He'd be like, no, no, no. No, no, I, I'm gonna re, I'm, I'm rebuttal what he's talking about, and just, I yeah. mean, two minutes going for eight minutes. Really, but Trump, like, you have to be such a kind of, almost really like alpha gangster where you got to like stand yeah. your ground. But who did they need? Who would be the great like Rogan would be great. Ro- okay, I saw him trending, but not Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> what? Like an actor, he would get destroyed. Man, you're like, I said Aven- two minutes, this motherfucker. This ain't Avengers Seven. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, you, you you need so like alpha male, like no, like you need someone to. You call. ain't seen him in Coach Carter. I don't I give a fuck to say. what he was in. He was no, I'm telling you, you, you need you need like an alpha male who's not going to put up with shit. Well, I saw the Trump. Yeah. He, he sees the weakness and just steamrolls you. Mm-hmm. And he tried doing it with Biden, then Biden like. Kind of did low blows too. Mm-hmm. He'd be like, "Come, Come on, man! Yeah. You, well, you're you're the worst president that we've ever had." Like he started going low ball. I'm like, "Ah, oh, fuck, Biden, take the high road, dude. Like you're that yeah. guy. You can't you can't take the high road with Trump though. Trump was getting them though. Trump was digging to the, the body. High road. I don't I, the high road. I, I, I don't okay. think anybody got anybody. It was it's kind of like bit of a shit show. Oh, like, yeah. it, just it, well, they were just interrupting each other. Uh, so like, if you had if you went to so it wasn't what, productive. No, not at all. Like, mm. if you went to watch the debates to get, like, an honest opinion on what their political, like, aspects are or mm. the, what they believe in, you walked away just, like, like two parents fighting. Uh, two gay older parents two gay. fighting. <laughs> like, if you had two gay dads yeah. and they were arguing, that's what it was. Shout out to gay dads, by the way. Yeah, dog, doing the friends. damn thing. They're yeah, I bet you do. But so they were just, <laughs> like, it was just, it was crazy. It was just I loved it. Yeah. I was about to say entertaining, it was, it was so but entertaining, but yeah. Now yeah, politically, it was a shit show. Yeah, damn. But shit I think show. Pe- yeah, I can't believe you guys didn't watch it. Well, I watched. He what did. are you talking about? I was like, Joe Biden is a White Walker for Game of Thrones. I see the face. <laughs> You, <laughs> like, you, you watch it, cat? Uh, no, but people told me it reminded them of like uh, love, like Love and Hip Hop reunion. <laughs> Right. Where oh, everyone's oh, like just a shit at the show. end, yeah. yeah. Like so your son did cocaine. Yeah. You killed two hundred thousand people. Oh, where they do people. like the where Andy Cohen comes in and like interviews. Yeah, oh, you talking like about uh, but that's Housewives. Where Housewives. Oh, House, oh, well, Housewives. Housewives a little more structured. Exactly. Love and hip hop uh, is where you throw water on the people. They're or fighting. The oh, security. really? Mm-hmm. Shoe. Shoes are very classic. Snatching wigs. They do it with Teen Mom. Team mom, Dr. Mm-hmm. Drew. Yeah. The mom Dr. will walk Drew. off set. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dr. Drew will be like, no, come on back. Oh, Jim, you Oh, Jim, come on. Come on, Deb. Deb, come on. Deb, Deb. We need you. We need and, then, you. and then he'll go, do we still have her? We still <laughs> she's in the back cooling <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't going nowhere. They ain't leaving that building. They need that money. Yeah. All right, let's do some current events and wrap this up. All right. Wait, 
Is that Sunday. our one? Yes. Okay. We go down. Oh, I saw so, this video. Uh, there more. So there was this video. It mm -hmm. went viral because there's mm -hmm. this girl who starts twerking in front of Salt Bay, and some man comes in barging, yelling at her. Mm -hmm. And because this clip went viral, there were people who looked into Salt Bay's Boston restaurant where he was at, and it got shut down for um, like breaking these COVID restrictions because there were a bunch of people in line. What a bunch of people weren't wearing masks and stuff. So this like, video got him shut down the restaurant. Damn, Don't down. go. Why do you give a fuck? Just mm. don't go. Mind your business. This is a great twerk, by the way. Look at that twerk. She's doing that for Salt Bay? Hey, look at her oh, man. Shit. Her man. She ran. What are you doing, nigga? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she ran. Whoa. Yo, yo hold on. Was that her man? That was her man. Uh, had to be. Nothing's been confirmed. I think she made like a TikTok a few days after saying that wasn't her boyfriend, that wasn't oh, okay. her friend. She, but a lot of people are speculating that it was like her boyfriend. Like he took her to dinner it and then like she started twerking I'd for Salt Bay. I'd be pissed too. Yeah. Yeah. But we don't know. Like, what damn, bitch, man, doing a, you're twerking for a T-bone steak? <laughs> With I'll buy drip. you one. With I'm like, damn. <laughs> he was. I heard that from. Fuck you doing? That's her man. Yeah, that's that's her so man. aggressive. Fuck Something's going on. Something there. going that on. Just ain't a friend. I just paid for that. Yeah. Her brother be like, what the brother? fuck are you doing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I paid. I would be pissed. Could he a skit though? Like you know the TikTok skit. I mean, like, that man well, looked well, pretty but serious think about them, but, He's a great but, actor. But also to get Salt Bay to film it, he's in the room. There's too much wheels in motion. They're they're she, not thinking that far. She, ahead. the way she tried it off, knows that she had been through like a little <laughs> domestic violence. Because <laughs> I heard, his, I heard his restaurant floor in Miami is good though. I heard it's really good. Look at that little trap when she saw him. Oh, let me get up out here. You see that? Who, who's the guy that did the elevator thing? Ray Rice. Oh, oh yeah, yeah the punch in the girl. That's the energy he had. Oh yeah, same vibes. Same, same vibes. vibes. You feel it? What also, you and Solange and Jay Z in the elevator. Mm -hmm. Oh, when Solange like Solange kind of punked them though, huh? She she beat them. Yeah. She, she, well, because she, she was saying because she's taking up Beyonce. Right? Yeah, Beyonce. Yeah. Solange is kind of hood. Like she, Beyonce is very classy and very like what's the word? Elegant. Very, yeah, elegant. <laughs> like lady like. Yeah. 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 Meanwhile, Solange will beat your ass. Solange dated a crip. That's why she got all that energy. Oh, she's dating uh, a crip. Yeah, she also has that ugly sister power. <laughs> oh. I didn't even think about that. The wow. ugly younger sister is power. Ugly. Well, to, Beyonce? to Beyonce, come why on. You, it's just like you when they compared your special to Dave Chappelle. Like you said, why are you comparing her? He's to not Beyonce? my brother, though. <laughs> <laughs> if Dave Chappelle's my brother, hold on, hold on. Chappelle us. got a point. I, I, don't, point. I got a point. Got a point. I, I, we, we have no relation, you know. I've, I don't open for him, you know. what I'm saying like, you're not, <laughs> if he's my brother. <laughs> also, Jay Z. But the other thing too, Jay Z cheating on Beyonce. Jay Z ugly as fuck. <laughs> But he's Jay Z. He's Jay Z. That's Joe Camel. Jay -Z. That's Joe Camel. That is ugly you can, as fuck. You can do no wrong when you Jay Z. Solange is good. I always say, you know, yeah, it's you're right. She, yeah, she is good. What's looking. this? So Amazon just released that they're going to have new technology where you can pay with just your hand. That's weird though, because then you got to put your. Because it's like, yeah, down. I guess they don't go into detail about how they're going to do it exactly, but it's going to be like you swipe your hand. I'm guessing they're going to take like almost like a fingerprint of your That's palm, what I'm and then you you insert your credit card at the beginning, so it has like that information where your palm's ID is then matched up to a credit card, and that's, that's how cool. you pay going in and out. Is it? I mean, it's cool, but it's definitely shady. Like, what? Yeah. If, what are they? Yeah, why? Do why, that? why? 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 Why do we need shit like that? I Man, hold on, bro. They, I can't do it. Mm -hmm. yeah, why? My hand linked to my food stamp card, please. That, you know. Yeah, right. For hell, no. I'm Who's not doing me? this? Whole Foods. <laughs> it, <laughs> it might be because Amazon does uh, own, own Whole Foods. Whole Foods. Oh, they're yeah. going to try to sell this technology That's where I get to my other steaks. stores. Whole Foods. Yeah, oh, you fancy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. I, know. Kind of That's, I, it's, I, I only go there for the meat. For the meats. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like the piece of meat though. Yeah, but it's better. Piece of great. It's always great. Yeah, especially if I'm going to cook it. Yeah, it's nice. Chef Pell, come on. What else you got? All right. Um, I want you guys to look at this guy's picture real quick first. All right. Oh. Okay. Oh. So, would you allow this guy to be your kid's teacher? Fuck no. So he was actually fired as a kindergarten teacher because one of the kids said that she was getting nightmares from watching him. Oh. Yeah. However, I, yeah, I have you, nightmares. Yeah. What, what do you think's gonna happen? He looked like that he guy from Galaxy. You know, I think high no, school. No, he's actually okay. able to teach uh, six and older. So he's still still teaching, but six and older, not no longer kindergarten. I just it's thinking like a kid's imagination, like when they see shit. There was certain shit that would scare me as a kid, like paintings. Dude, that you know, scares me to now. see that and that teaching yeah, me. No, you just can't. That's not scary now. I'm an adult. Ah, mm -hmm. it's not good. Shouts well, out to but him also, why is he did I mean, his his also his point of view is like he likes the fact that he can look like this, and then kids are around him, so they don't judge people by the way they look. You oh. know what I mean? As they grow up, so that's what he says here. 
accept people from or who are different from the norm maybe they're adults they'll be le- well, when they're adults they'll be less racist and less homophobic and more open-minded homophobic i mean it's just is overall how too? someone i don't think he's gay i think he's just yeah saying, oh, he's just saying like, the world yeah yeah it's just tough man i would be a little yeah i'd be a little worried i mean like, yeah, like, if i was a kid and i saw that yeah i'd be terrible well there's just certain like stigmas like i don't want my accountant having a neck tattoo you wouldn't trust him no. you wouldn't trust him yeah i would you would know some shit. Okay. Use your bad sign. Imagine him yeah. coming in school like, hey, today, kids, we're going to learn the Louisiana <laughs> Purchase. No, we're not. <laughs> Cover up. Cover up. I don't know. Hell no. So she and, and then he wears, then his eyes are tattooed, yeah, too. Yeah, he black tattoos. Uh, so yeah, there's obviously some, I would assume, mental issues, too. Yeah. No, that's not mental. Tattooing your, uh, the whites of your eyeballs? Let him live. Well, he can live. Just don't want to teach him my kid. <laughs> That's some Steve. I mean, t- like, how, why would you touch? Now he eye? might be a great teacher. I would just probably. I'd be like, oh, I'm just gonna go to another school. Yeah, I just I wouldn't feel comfortable leaving my kid, if, especially if it was a kindergartner with this teacher. It yeah, sucks. Just, kids, yeah, it kids sucks. But I just can't imagine. Would you guys? Hell no, <laughs> Chin, Chin, oh, my kid's Chin. in school right up the street right now. Fuck no. No, no. no. It's just the way. Yeah, I don't probably know. Probably not. Okay, this is a good story. Uh, Delonte West. So Mark Cuban was looking for him and making phone calls to find out where he was. And finally, you guys know about him, right? Yeah, of course. That's the guy who uh, no. smacked on LeBron James' mom. Continue. Oh, yeah. that's what? the guy that what? did he, that? He fucked LeBron James' mom. Yeah. No we, way. We don't talk yeah, about that. Yeah, that. that's why they had issues. Then then, then I don't know what LeBron did to LeBron him. LeBron got him out of the league. Shift out of the league. Out of Dude, the league. He got him out of society. Correct, correct, correct. So he ended up becoming homeless, right? Oh, Dante man. West. And then uh, Mark Cuban actually went out to meet him and met him at a gas station and picked oh. him up. Dropped him off at a hotel where his mother was waiting to do like you know an intervention. intervention? Mm-hmm. So now he's actually willing to go to to what do you call it? Uh, therapy, therapy, rehab, rehab, rehab. Oh. rehab. Ready to go there, and I guess that's a good story, right? Mark Cuban actually himself yeah. drove yeah, up and met cool. him. I love Mark Cuban on Shark Tank. I was bro. just about to say that, dog. Man. Come on, bro. He's so cool. Yeah, the coolest so one. Cool. Is Mark Cuban and him friends, or like how did that? Come well, he out? was the owner. He played for yeah, the Dallas Mavericks. Mavericks. Oh, so he was okay. Yeah. okay. He never played with LeBron. Yes, he did. Yeah, he did. Oh, he did. Oh, I, yeah. I, I'm at, all right. I was about to say. I don't know wow. the, the man's history. I just, he yeah, had a video. Nuts. He had a video. Remember, he came out in the video, and all NBA players was like, man, we got to get him off the street. And they didn't do anything. No, Mark, didn't. Cuban, Mark Cuban was like, I got you. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I feel sad But for But they're, they're, I, I'm sure it says in Was the, he a really good player? He's solid. Like, he, he was, was okay. like an all star. He was a role player. He's solid. Yeah, he's a solid role player. You just don't. in the NBA. Don't smack on the King's mom. That's all we ask. Don't fuck LeBron's mom. Dude. Exactly. Yeah. What does we got LeBron's wait, mom So look wait, wait, wait. What's wrong? Didn't she want it? She no, what, obviously what, did it. What, I mean, I, this is what more, does that have to do with if LeBron? I'm LeBron, I have more of an issue with my mom you don't sucking see her, off. Yeah, what, what does you, that have to but do with But you don't see her at the games anymore. You remember she was all in the games. Like, go, baby. Can't After have that, the games. Nah, she you can't fuck players. And COVID, they're the in the bubble. No, 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 no. This is years. Never. Yeah, years ago. You never seen it? Yeah. Yeah. So what? But, yeah, but, there, but here's the thing with this though. And What's his mom? There, have, like? there have been players. Yeah, please bring up his mom. <laughs> but, there, mom. but there have been other players, <laughs> other players and coaches that have tried to get him help. Who? Oh, oh really? Delonte oh, yeah. West. There's, 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 they've, they've been trying for a while. You did, you did that out of spite. Look at her. That's what there he did. Go. It. Him and LeBron. Oh, look got at the picture of him and the mom right there. Yeah, right here. No, no. Go to oh, MVP. Sorry, MVP. Sorry. Yeah. Right there. You did that out no. of spite. You did that out of spite. You did that out of spite. That's real? That's real, dog. LeBron James is like, okay, you have all these Cleveland women, and you want to hit my mom? Okay. Wow. Hell yeah. Look, what is... But wh- why Over is, here looking like Carrot Top. <laughs> I mean, I'd rather just not know. I'm like, okay, yeah, do your fucking thing. Leave no, me, that, leave looks like, that looks like Carrot Top and the guy from Green Green Mile. Who? The, the big black dude? Not, not, not Duke? No. Yes, the oh, guy who passed shit. away. Oh. From Green Mile. <laughs> Oh my John God. Coffee. John Coffee. That's it's Michael. John is, Coffee. Is Michael Clark. Uh, Michael Clark, Clark Duncan. Duncan. Yo, yo, you I don't so think that's his mom. I think this might be his girl. Because the other pictures look like his. This one's his mom, right? These yeah, that's two. his mom in 1980. <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> no, that's no, wait, wait. her now, bro. I, I go to LeBron James' mom. Go to, She's him got him. a piercing on her tongue. Come on, that's, that's not her, her mom. Le- well, go to LeBron James' mom. Go to LeBron James' mom. What's the thing say, though? It just says, Powell says homeless and hungry. Delonte West is paranoid. Can we just click on this? Checks into rehab. Jesus Christ. Man, I'm pitching. Let's just see what this says. I don't know what this is. It's got to be his chick, though. 
Okay. Yeah, that yeah. can't be LeBron's mom. No. Yeah, go, go to yeah, LeBron. Yeah, LeBron's yeah. mom. Yeah. Chin, LeBron and uh, when he got the MVP. Did you Google yeah. LeBron's right mom? There, right no, there. we did Delonte mom. Delonte West's mom. No, we don't want to. No, not Delonte. Wait, that's just one that. No, 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 LeBron. No. LeBron. No. LeBron. LeBron's right. The he coach fucked LeBron's mom, not his own. You're going to get Brendan yelling at you. I know. Chin, what the hell, Chin? Chin's all you guys want to see. Not again. <laughs> oh, nah, y'all want to see the root of the problem? It's going to be on Dre West. It starts at the house. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. <laughs> starts at it starts at the top. Ty- type in LeBron's mom. That's his mom, right? <laughs> I know, but type in LeBron mom. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where you came from. <laughs> oh, right, look, God. that's what he was hitting. He did that out of spite, dog. You remember she was all at the games? She hot? Was that like? No, look. I mean, I. I guess. I mean, not bad. Wait, go, 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 go to the one where she holding up LeBron James sign, right there, his face. Uh, this one, oh, that the right one there, in yeah, high school. There. Look, you, you said that's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> you said that's not bad. <laughs> you did it out of spite. Him and LeBron got into it. He was like, okay, okay, I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna shut that up. That is strange. I wonder. Out of, out of it had to be out of spite. Girl. Out of spite. Out of now look at girl. Young Delante. Like he was a handsome guy. Yeah. Go to like a younger picture of him. Is look that at it? that. He could have pulled like a like a snow bunny in Cleveland. Come on, bro. Get he paid. Them, and he one of them light skinned dudes. Light skinned dudes, though. Come on, bro. John B looking dude. John B. John B's white. John B. <laughs> John B's white. He's not light skinned. Right. I mean, well, I will give him a light skin. We'll give him that. He sound black on tracks. Sound, yeah, on tracks. <laughs> he does not look like John B. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you insult John B like yeah. that? That is true. I apologize. I did. How You're, did we get on this? Oh, because oh, you know because Mark, Mark Cuban. Cuban. Mark Cuban, yeah. Give Man. us one more. All right, let's see here. Let's pick a good one. All <laughs> <laughs> right. Chin, chin, press. Chin gets stressed out. Now. Yeah. Almost there. Oh, this is cool. Well, it's not cool, but this dad was in a car dealership, and then some, I guess, robbers came in and started shooting. His kids were there on the couch, and he defended them. Like, he j- j- uh, jumped on top of them to make sure that they weren't hit. He got shot twice. And then, because he works like construction or whatever, he got fired because he couldn't do his job. Jesus. So Christ. then, of course, uh, GoFundMe came in. They has over like two hundred something thousand dollars. Good for in. him. Yeah, man. and he also saved his kids too. You want to see the video? Yeah, um, I want to see. I want to see. Okay. Those are Mr. Why did this guy come shooting in the? I guess they're just robbing. So he's just literally covering all of his kids. Twice? Yeah, covering when, all of his. When kids did right they there. start shooting again? How I think I think there's shot? one more that comes here. First of all, what, what they just went in there to shoot? Yeah. I think they're robbing him. Probably grab some what money and they get? bounced. I don't, don't don't look like too much. I don't yeah, right. See, they're still oh, shooting. Another oh, shot. damn! Is someone shooting back at them? I'm gonna guess. Who else had a gun in a dealership? Let's take because a look at the story. You sell, you selling cars? That's, where's that at though? Yeah, where that at? Oh, it's uh, Bronx, I think. Bronx. Yeah. Damn. Mm-hmm. Damn, it's up to almost three hundred grand now. I mean, this is already an older. That's dope. Though. By a few days, so. yeah, that's God, a great story. Please. Yeah, but but yeah, there's not much details. Probably doesn't want his name out Who there. Who robs a dealership? I mean, yeah. do they I, pay cash for some? Nah, on some cars? No, no never. Really? There's no nah. money there. So he's not stealing a car. I was just, about, I, I didn't see anything like. Whoop, I ain't see no skirt off. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Wait, let's Wait go it. see what his GoFundMe is at right now. Yeah, almost 300000 300000 oh, Like, when does it stop, though? That's what I was, was curious about. Like, they have a goal, but when does it they stop? Have, they have a timeline of when the shit stops. Okay. But I can't, I don't know. You know. Look, I love how, like, Mamie Lord was like, yo, y'all sh- make sure they see I have $100. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a head. I'm donating the other one. Anonymous, $99. That's what's up. That's he could have went to $100. Yeah, he could have went to that's $100. That's kind of petty a little yeah, bit. 99 99 Come on, bro. Okay, it looks like, like a gang thing because three suspects fired multiple shots at a male who then returned fire. So it might, might have been just they found him. Oh, gang some dude was oh. shopping yeah, yeah. for a car, and they caught him slipping. Yeah. Oh. Caught him slipping. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. that makes sense. that makes sense. Way to discover, Chin. <laughs> Yeah. It wasn't on TMZ. We had to go there. Gun, go fund me. Damn, that's crazy, man. What, what dealership is that though? I don't see any. It looks pretty nice old. Huh? Like yeah, it looks uh, like a Ben. Yeah. Well, I see. That's I see a, a lot of Range Rover. I just want a Honda Civic. It looks like a Beamer. I don't yeah. see any Centras on there. Well, it's mm-hmm. weird because there's a Mercedes. There's a BMW. Used car. Used car. Yeah, yeah, yeah that makes sense. Yeah, maybe. That's where a lot of drug dealers shop. 
Good for him getting three hundred K though. Pay yeah. out cash. Yeah. Is that it? I guess so. All right, man. Good episode with Steve. Yeah, man. It's been fun, fun, boys. Man, it's been dope. Fighter and the kids. Hey. A lot of people have been saying that. A lot of, <laughs> but they said we're gonna get a Z. Part I was just about to say the Z right there. It's coming the in already. Right it's actually How do you do delivered that? today. We yeah. just add it a Z. Oh. Okay, I like that. Well, that's though. cool. Yeah, Hollywood, yeah. Hollywood. Okay, I like uh, that. see y'all in Dallas. That's Dallas right, is weekend. Dallas. Saturday sold out. Yeah. Uh, added tickets to Thursday and Friday show. So get tickets now. Tomorrow, Dallas. Let's ride. Let's ride. Right. Addison Improv. TFATK.com for tickets. Phoenix tickets are on sale. That is November 5th through yeah. the 7th. Nashville are on sale November 19th through 21st. Get your tickets now. TFATK.com. Uh, I think that's it, man. Yup. Fellas, yeah. thank you. Yeah. We're out. Yep.